Yeah. Kind of starts right around the. Nice. All right, guys. We are live. We are live. We are live. What's going Hello, on? everyone. Thank you for joining us. Hey, everyone. Do quick, quick introductions. I'm David from Red Wagon Dioramas. Matt. Uh, I'm Matt, and my channel is just my name. It's a Black Series channel. Nice. And I'm Jeremy um, at Jedi Hunter 83 on Instagram, and uh, that's me. My figure culture. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Cool. We got Brian. Cheers, watching. everybody. Happy Friday. Oh, Brian yeah. Myers is here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brian, I just subbed to your channel. I saw that you were doing a bunch of. Yeah. I hadn't. I I know you've been commenting for a long time on my stuff, and I just saw your channel recently. So. Yeah, I've been checking out some of Brian's stuff as well. Yeah, Brian, did nice you? Uh, did, here. did you go to New York Comic Con? Is that? Uh, have you made it there? You know that's going on right now, or maybe it just happened. It's going on right now. I have a friend there uh, right now. Um, the guy Chris from Chris Con is uh, walking around New York, and uh, he's been sending me pictures and stuff. It's been fun. Cool. And Arthur is here. Yeah, hey, Arthur. Arthur. Here. Awesome. Cool. Good to see you, Arthur. We, Arthur just did a nice ba uh, Bad Batch Captain Rex retooling on his okay. Instagram page. He fixed it, and it looks good. It looks really good. Very cool. I got to check that out. Yeah. That. Oops. Upstate New York, mm, okay. where they have proper winter. Right. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, we were just chatting. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just saying we we started our little pregame uh, live show here by saying who's tired from the week, and uh, <laughs> it's Friday night stream, man. I'm, I am. We all are. Yeah. 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 Busy week. But I really wanted to get together. We just just talk like PulseCon stuff, because um, mm -hmm. I you know just to kind of see what you guys think about all that that came out last weekend and uh you know other stuff so but yeah i don't know you want to you want to go first we go, let's do some pickups I, matt you said you had some pickups let's do that first yeah we can do recent pickups first so well this is out of frame but i had some kenobi figures come in i've, I've done reviews on them i've got a couple of dark troopers now over on this other shelf here Got a couple of dark troopers. Yeah, they look there we go. Yeah. Well, they're down there, actually. You can't, this desk is blocking. Uh, a couple of dark troopers flanking Moff Gideon. Looks fantastic on the shelf. Back, let's see, I'm backwards. Back there, I have the Mando and Maldo Crease set. Great set. And and David, I think I'm going to maybe try to paint those eyes. Yeah, they look good. They really need to be painted. You know, like I said in my video, it should be a felony that Hasbro didn't paint the eyes. I mean, it's, it's just. Yeah, pretty poor. Cool. Uh, but I have the comic Leia coming soon from Dorkside. That's a good looking figure. Yeah, it's really cool. I picked this up. Really? Okay. The George Boba. I've seen people are starting yeah, to get this, those. Uh, this wound up being below retail. I had some Target yeah, rewards. Oh, I saw your post on that. Yeah. Free shipping. Yeah, it's, I mean, even though it's on the old body, I just love the colors on this. Just a really cool looking boba. So yeah. that's one. And this came in the mail today, the Archap Chewy. Oh, because you if you see down there, I made some, and I'm backwards, I made some steps for the Yavin ceremony. And I wanted an open mouth Chewy. Oh, okay. Got Han. <laughs> so <laughs> picked up the Archap Chewy. Nice. And then one of my subscribers, who is on the screen right now, Ridley Cinema sent me this here the elite series fin now this is right at six and a half inches tall actually uh, measured it six and a half inches tall he's a little bit bigger than black series so i just have him kind of on the desk but it's a pretty cool figure oh, yeah, those are the, the disney store figures yeah it's a Dis yeah disney store exclusive mm -hmm. heavy it's it's die cast but it's oh, a pretty wow. cool figure Nice. Yeah. I've never so thanks, seen uh, this one. yeah, thanks, Jordan. Yeah, Ridley Cinema. He's in the house. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that very much. Um, you know, I only had oh. I've had two two of those elite figures ever. Yeah. I had mm -hmm. I had General General Grievous, which which okay. was good. That was before the Black bigger. Series one. 
Yeah, it was it was bigger. It was yeah. um, before the Black Series one was released, so that was on my shelf for a while. Then I ended up selling mm -hmm. it, okay. and then I have the K two S O, which is really <laughs> cool in the diecast metal. Uh, it's, it's it doesn't stand up, but <laughs> it's, well, it's, it's yeah, pretty the, fun. This fin has a yeah. weak knee. It's got oh, a wow. really weak knee. <laughs> he likes to fall over. Yeah, but it's it's still a cool figure though. I still like it. Yeah. yeah, I still like it a lot. One of those, I don't, you, um, you can get like a cheap, um, what do you call them, little figure stands. to get them on eBay for like. Yeah. Five well, bucks. this one came with a figure stand. Actually. Oh, there you go. Oh, cool. yeah, yeah. Nice. I had one yeah. of those figures. I had Boba Fett when they still did that series, and mm -hmm. I, uh, I gifted it to a friend of mine. And then I yeah. had originally I had bought Captain Phasma, and uh, never opened it, and you know just kind of let it go many moons mm -hmm. ago. <laughs> that looks cool. cool in the package, but I know I never opened them, so I never felt them or you know got any experience with how they how they articulated. Yeah, you just like you liked them in package, huh? Yeah, yeah. Something well, the I'm thing is, was, about. like you guys said, it was out of scale. Mm -hmm. It was uh, bigger than Black Series, so I didn't it's know about it. It's not only taller; it's bigger. Yeah, so yeah. It does look a little weird next to Black Series figures because it's, it's 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 just bigger. Uh, but one thing I thought about doing with the droids Boba is taking an extra. Uh, pulse rifle from Din Djarin and painting it the same colors as this was in the Christmas special. You know, that kind yeah. of salmon, salmon color, kind of orangey color. There you go. And just posing him with this. That's a good idea. I thought that yeah. might look pretty cool. So. I don't know why they didn't give us that weapon with this I know. release. I know. Seriously, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think about that. I figured I would just snip this little thing off right here. You know, just to snip it off and maybe even snip the scope off and just paint it that funky orange color. You know, maybe leave yeah. the tip silver, you know. Yeah. But that's about it for me. But yeah, now you can see the Kenobi line. The Kenobi line starts there and goes to Vader. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah your, your shelves look nice back there. You know, you're yeah, oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Very organized, yeah. very clean. <laughs> thank you. Nice and bright thank in the you. lighting too. Yeah, for sure. It's, it works. It works pretty well. Jeremy, you got anything you want to? Did you pick up anything recently? Doesn't have to be Star Wars. It could be anything. Um, what did I pick up? Well, let's see. Uh, what do I have handy? I was messing with this guy. I mean, he's not in the package, but I got this today from Entertainment Earth. So I opened oh. him up. Um, I mean, it's the same figure as you know the 2020 version. So it's just painted white. That's cool. Yeah, he's in the other room. My son was checking him out. So <laughs> does then, he? Uh, does he have all the same accessories from the first release? Is there something missing? There's something less, right? Yeah, he doesn't have a couple. Well, he has actually he has repulsor hands this time, which the other one didn't have. But he doesn't come with the roadie alternate head. Mm -hmm. oh, one okay. of the uh, one of the blast effects, I think, is also not included. So, but it's okay. I mean, the um, what did you say? They look like these, the the blast effects. Yeah. So, but I mean, other than that, it looks. I mean, it's a great looking figure, and I wanted to have one to go with my other. Uh, my um, 20th anniversary Iron Man back there. So kind of like the, the white, the different mm -hmm. color palettes. But um, I've just been picking up some legends. Like I got this guy for USA. Uh, got him for uh, 1750. Cool. Yeah. Love that. From Target. That That's, that's awesome. the Target sale going on right now, right? Yeah. yeah. And then wow. uh, a while ago, I had, I had contacted Hasbro about um, the amazing fantasy Spider-Man that I got in the, the new, it was my first windowless box. And I got him, and he was uh, – some of the paint apps weren't great. He was missing mm -hmm. a couple of things, the accessories. Hmm. So they told me they would send me something to replace it um, if they didn't have the exact same figure, and this showed up. <laughs> oh, no. so, cool. I don't I don't know if I'm going to keep that. this. I don't – I mean, I don't know. It looks pretty cool, but it's just – I don't really have any attachment to it. I think I might re-gift yeah. it, or I might just sell it to somebody. Yeah. Well, but, Jeremy, let's talk about that for a sec, because I also yeah. did a return with Hasbro. Yeah, and they, I had the Spider-Man Spinneret two pack, and I had missing web lines on my Spider-Man forearm, so they, hmm. they are mailing me a check, like a physical check is coming in the mail. They wouldn't, they said they couldn't send me a new figure. Um, oh, I mean, funny. they processed it fine. It was just, it was oh. odd because I, I hear everybody gets, you know, a replacement figure, and that mm -hmm. wasn't. Yeah, that's been my experience. Option. Yeah. Well, it's funny you say that too, and I've never had them offer me like a check. It's usually they'll just like, oh, we'll contact the warehouse and whatever they have, we'll send you something of equal value. 
Yeah. But they did tell me one time, they're like, well, we want you to send the figure back. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, well, am I going to get the same figure back? Like, are you going to replace it with the same exact one? And they're like, well, no, there's no guarantee. And it was the, um, it was one of the sim- the symbiote Spider-Man in the black suit. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to send you this just because he's got, he's got kind of like loose hips. He doesn't stand very well. I'm like, I'm not going to send this back to you with no guarantee that I'm going to get the same thing back. Right. So we kind of worked it out where they, you know, they sent me a different, uh, like a replacement in that situation. Um, I think yeah. it was the, uh, it was the cyborg Spider-Man that, which was a target exclusive. So you mm-hmm. never kind of know what you're going to get when they send a replacement exactly. figure. And I think it might be better like what you got. I mean, just send me the money. I'll go buy something else. Well, yeah, definitely. yeah that's what they, they told me in the email. I was like, well, Hasbro Pulse still has it in stock, so you can buy, rebuy it there. And I was like, okay, well, it worked for me because I had bought two pack, I had bought two sets. Okay. And I only I actually bought the extra one for a friend, and then he backed out. He didn't need it. So yeah. I, mm-hmm. I had an extra anyway. So I just sent him back the, you know, the one that had the bad paint and – yeah. get my money back i guess but. like i'm i'm kind of like i'm wondering is this what's actually in there because i know a lot of people have been having issues with that <laughs> just, just and then i'm like well it came right directly from hasbro so it has yeah. to be what's you know has to be the figure yeah. <laughs> speaking of hasbro of, of of hasbro fixing you know the problem i think the best one i had was my harrison doula came uh, with no boot holster Okay. With Hasbro. They sent me the Hascon Rex. As oh, that's right. That's right. They sent me that's Hascon amazing. Rex as a replacement. Yeah. So okay. that's what blows my mind is those figures are just sitting in a warehouse somewhere. Like exactly. you and I, Matt, we talked about it. I got a Dubak set. And I'm like, yeah, what's your right. world? <laughs> yeah. But, but the, the, the Death Watch Mando that I got has a bowed blaster. It looks like he's holding a banana. <laughs> he's got a bent range finder. He's got a bent jet. I you contacted Hasbro just for the fun of it. Right. They, they sent me TVC Barris Offy as a replacement. I was like, oh, that's right. Yeah. And you're like, an okay, old. that's not really. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I don't have any TVC except, well, just a handful. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I have had to contact them once before. Thing. It was uh, the first G.I. Joe classified I bought. It was Snake Eyes. And he mm. had really, really loose hips. He was he was awful. And I wanted to yeah, keep the I figure. Did. And I'm like, you know, I, I don't know if I can fix this, but I'll just kind of deal with it. And they decided, they're like, oh, we'll send you something anyway, just for the trouble. Because it was, I guess, you know, right when the line started. And they sent me like the, um, what do they call it? Like the retro uh, collection. It was mm-hmm. something that was three and three quarter inch, like a almost mm-hmm. like a play set, but it was all cardboard. I, I'd never even seen it before. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I gave it to a friend of mine. I'm like, here is, he collects this stuff. <laughs> wow. So it's really interesting with these companies. Like I, I don't crazy. usually contact them, but when you do, it's like, like Mattel has sent, they'll send me a check. They've sent me two oh, checks wow. for dinosaurs that have been defective. So you just never know. Uh, I had to Hasbro's do a return. Customer service is all very nice. I mean, they're all oh, super yeah. friendly. Yeah. No but, questions asked. Usually they're very, very helpful. Yeah. yeah, exactly. No questions asked. They'll send you something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just yeah, don't know what. Yeah. I, I started collecting these uh these little you know galaxy or whatever micro galaxy ones oh yeah oh yeah and those are uh, cool i see those everywhere i've seen those yeah they um, look great yeah it's fun it's and it's jazz wears. but anyway i had, I had to do a return mm. with them this week because there was a piece missing out of not uh it was the imperial troop transporter and the, inside the cockpit there's supposed to be a seat where the stormtroopers sit and the seat wasn't there oh. um <laughs> it was just kind of bummed I got yeah. it from Walmart, you know, off the shelf. Uh, I'm going to return it to Walmart because they couldn't they couldn't do a return for me either. Um, they didn't have any more stock or something. It was it was kind of odd. So was it the classic Tie Fighter, the regular Imperial gray one? No, it was it was the Imperial Troop Transport. You know that vehicle? Oh, the, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, that was in Mandalorian and the original Kenner mm-hmm. toy with all the stormtroopers in it. It's yeah. a cool little piece. It all opens up and you can put a bunch of guys in it. Um, that would make a great Black Series vehicle, I think. But it would, I don't know yeah. If people ever make it. <laughs> but anyway. Back to the yeah. return. So they're sending me a wrestling figure is what they're sending me. They're sending me a wrestling <laughs> figure. So I'm like, all right, I don't do wrestling. Okay. Yeah, that's I asked weird. my buddy what I should get. And well, he's, you know, whatever. You know what I do but, sometimes? If I get something that I that I don't collect, I'll try. I'll try to take it to like, even if you go to like Walmart or Target and they sell it in the store, they'll be like, yeah, we'll take it. We'll give you like a gift card or store credit. I mean, at least you get some money and you can pick out something you want. So. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah. 
Oh, Arthur got the yeah the Moff Gideon yeah this so this is the Moff yeah. Gideon one that I that's pretty cool I like that which ship. is I like that. they they have chase versions of the ships in this line mm -hmm. so there's less of these made than the regular Tie Fighters yeah mm -hmm. fifteen thousand made versus whatever they make this so it's been kind of fun to try to like track those down it gives like a toy hunting element to it mm -hmm. yeah so Arthur you know, I will say though David them. David might like this. I picked up one of those. Uh, what is it called? It's a DC Multiverse Lex Luthor, and I got it. I got it for the um, the throne that it comes with the figure, and then I stuck oh. Thanos in it. So kind of wow, works. Look at this, that. Cool. It was uh, fourteen bucks, and I was like, I just want this. I mean, I, I don't care about the DC figure. <laughs> yeah. Could you uh, take cool. Thanos off and show us a little closer what it, what the oh, detail yeah. looks like? Yeah. So it's what not is bad. it? Oh. It's just. I mean, it's just a piece of you know just plastic. Of yeah. plastic, but. It's not bad. I mean, McFarlane, cool. McFarlane for 20 bucks. I mean, that's not bad to get this and a figure. So, huh. yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Dang. It works. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. I like it. And I'm thinking you could probably like paint it or weather it. Just give it some, bring out some of that detail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. But anyway, let's get off the track. <laughs> General Leia. Uh, 10 bucks. Ten, yeah. It's a deal. I'm telling you, this guy, this guy right here is one of the figures of the year. Hasbro yes. filled it with this guy. Yes. That's wicked. Unbelievable. I got I bought two of them because he was awesome. that good. Yeah. <laughs> right here, too, man. Oh, there you got go. him too. He's awesome. <laughs> All tinless, yeah. awesome sculpt. So and I'm not even into ninjas like that. I don't I don't really get into G.I. Joe too hardcore, but I had to get them. <laughs> that thing looks amazing. Yeah. The, it awesome. Yeah, looks, I was very poseable. Yes. Yeah. I mean, he's he's down in a split almost. Yeah. I mean, they they do a great job with these, man. These uh, I can't. Oh, spirit. I can't, yeah. Yeah. I can't really say enough about how good these are. And I yeah. I was never into GI Joe. It was never really my thing when I was back in the eighties. That's cool. What's the Eagles' name? Iron something. Freedom. Freedom. Yeah. Freedom. Yeah. 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 Is it just freedom? Okay. Yeah. I must be thinking of something else. No, that's pretty cool. Though. I love, love that. I'm the same way, Jeremy. I've been picking up the yeah, I've been picking <laughs> up these GI Joes, and I love them. They're so good. They're fun, um, man. Uh, <laughs> They're a lot of fun. That crocodile's amazing. Oh, yeah. Jeremy, got Firebird back there. Oh, very cool. Nice. There. <laughs> nice. There's your Firebird. Yeah. Very oh, cool. hang on a second. I'm thing. trying to. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Very cool. Right. So is it my turn, pickups? Yeah, yeah. You got anything more, Jeremy? What you got? No, that's it for now. I'm uh I've been kind of slowing down really. I've been getting real selective with stuff. Yeah. Sorry guys, I'm playing with the screen yard here trying to figure out oh, the no. controls. It is kind of screwy. Yeah. <laughs> Ridley Ridley says, is G.I. Joe Snake Eyes worth two hours of your life? If you're talking the movie, I would say no. If you're talking the action figure, yes. <laughs> I would that movie was uh pretty pretty boring. All right, so let me show you guys. So I got this guy. Here's a new Marvel Legends, right? Ah, oh, there you go. Nice. I've been yeah, wondering what he looked him. like. He's, he's so black. He doesn't show up much. But um, so I was really excited again. This was a Target. I don't know if this was Target exclusive. Anyway, yeah, it came from Target. It and it also comes with the little uh, Spider Ham you know, mm -hmm. repack, uh, which we had before. Um, so I, I really like this character. You know, I like the character in general, and I liked him in you know the Spider Verse movie, the cartoon, hmm. and then he's been in some video games and stuff too. Spider Man Noir, for those of you guys who don't know, it's just basically yeah. Spider Man if he lived in the you know black and white forties TV yeah. gangster times or whatever. Yeah, I think it was uh, uh, Nicholas Nicholas Cage in the movie, right? It was voice Nicholas Cage did his voice. Yeah. So I and I like it. He's got kind of like this flared coat going on. Yeah. But I would actually say I'm kind of disappointed with it overall. Um, I, I, like the head is real nice, but the posability is kind of hard with the uh, the way the trench coat is out there. Like, it, it, like if you stand him straight up, he's like flaring in the wind. Yeah. And but it gets in the way if you try to do any Spider-Man poses. Mm. And the articulation on the knees and the legs is just not. I don't know. There's something. It's just not that great. So I like the figure, the character, but. I don't know. There's, I'm a little disappointed with the uh, the figure itself. Yeah, you know it's funny. I was gonna, I had that on pre-order, and the more I looked at it, I kind of felt the same way. I was kind of just 
because all you have to go by until somebody does like a review is just to zoom in on the pictures that are that are listed. And I was kind of right. like, I'm not feeling the jacket, and I didn't. I don't know. The knees kind of looked weird, and like you said, the articulation you can't really do much with it. Yeah, so, hmm. looks cool though if he's just in, like in the for sure. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Yeah, and then I have I have Storm Shadow as well. I, I mean, this guy is just. I opened him about two weeks ago. I wasn't going to get him, and then my friend had an extra, so he, he, uh, I bought it off him, and it's just a really cool awesome. figure. So, yeah. yeah, you know what was interesting about that is they did the. Um, I saw that they put him on a retro card, and that particular version is a little bit more bright white, and he's got alternate hands, and this one oh, didn't really have hands. Yeah, and I was like, well, that's weird, but huh. you know, it's the same price point. Well, maybe a couple dollars more, but yeah, I didn't get that. But anyway. Here's something else for you guys. Is that yeah, this okay. character? Kenobi Sorry, Vader? Kenobi Vader, but yeah. TVC, 3.75. Oh, uh, wow. So I know you can't, it's hard to tell on the TV, but... It yeah. is, yeah. I almost thought that was Black Series. <laughs> Same here. It looks bigger. So, it like, does. here's the retro the retro collection, you know, the little, oh, little droid yeah. from the show. Yeah. So this is the TVC Vader. And I don't, I don't buy a lot of TVC. I buy occasionally I'll get them. But this figure is really good. Um, I just heard good things about it. You know, it comes with two extra hands, comes with a lightsaber that's ignited and or just the hilt. You yeah. can pop the hands off. Um, articulation sculpt, everything is really good on this. So it's really good. Nice. It really feels like a lot of the TVC figures are getting a lot more love and attention nowadays. It really does. Like they're putting a lot of more effort into them. I yeah, think the design right. team is is really like cares a lot on TVC. I think for the figures that they're doing, I think they're yeah. yeah, like you said, it seems like they're putting a lot into them. Yeah, I mean the detail is almost on par with Black Series. On this figure, it really is. Yeah, yeah, for such a small scale, it's really impressive. And I like it's, the idea of having like an alternate hilt that's not you know lit, so you don't have to unplug them. The you don't have to popping stuff on and off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. I know a. Uh, I know a lot of guys have been talking about that, um, you know, for Black Series. Yeah, why don't you give us, you know, an ignited hilt and one that's not, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Inferno? Yeah. Hippo. Yeah, I actually got that on the pegs at Target last week. I couldn't believe it. I saw Vader on the pegs, so I, was, was like, I picked him up. I've got a couple of TVC just because I was I was curious about the line, um, and I didn't have any at all. So I picked up, and I'm wondering when Black Series is going to get this guy done because uh, it's been a while. Oh yeah, oh. it's like what about Mithril. the Mithril? I mean, he's been on you know the show twice now. <laughs> the so, face looks so metallic on that. Oh yeah, and uh, you know what's crazy is he's got a lot of detail like on his jacket and everything. Yeah. I was Ooh. blown away. I'm like, this is unbelievable. Yeah, so, yeah. he's really good. And then the more accurate uh, quill. Mm. Yeah, to the show. <laughs> yeah. So like that and even the death watch the little death watch guys are pretty good they've even got even the the rangefinder moves it's crazy <laughs> on three and three quarters ago i'm like man that's pretty good so no doubt yeah do we, any of you guys do the retro collection i've been getting these guys too i don't no i have never i've never actually had one or seen one in person no. um, i've seen a lot in store the last time i was at walmart they had they had the fifth brother they had the grand inquisitor I think they may have had Reva. Mm -hmm. yeah, they yeah. Cool, you know, for what they are. Yeah, I see them. I, I like the you pick up the Vader if if you just want to try one of them. The Vader again, I don't know. He's just he's cool. He's got the soft goods and nice sculpt. He's got the you know the the lightsaber that you can hold basically kind of. So it's I don't know. I'm a big fan of the old Kenner Star Wars, which I had as a kid, and uh, so I, yeah, I still like some of them. Very similar to the old Kenner style. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty neat. I like it. Who else did I pick up? I did get the Dark Trooper. Finally got a Dark Trooper. Found him in the store this week or last week. Yeah, this week. So that thing is amazing. It's what do you think about thing. him, David? How does he feel like in hand as far as like the quality and the, the plastic? I think he's fine. I know people are talking about he's got like a real flexy, you know, rubber chest piece here. Chest piece is it's different, mm -hmm. but it, it's only you only notice it when you're you know when you're posing it playing with it i mean exactly i think he looks really good i like the look of him yeah um, i think he would do uh, good if you get some of these these hasbro pulse stands 
Yes. It, yep. You should have came with one, I believe. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. The flying toes. Yeah. Because they can look uh, up well. Yeah, it's okay. He can. He can kind of. He can kind of get that man. The camera. Kind of get that camera. That that flying look a little bit. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. arches back a little bit. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's brand new. I mean, I haven't even done much with them yet to give mm -hmm. you much of my thoughts on them. I've just kind of opened them up last night. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. But I like I them. It looks good. They're starting to discount them already. I saw Walmart. Somebody oh, posted, I think Toy Shiz or somebody posted they're already like starting to discount them down to like 16, 15, 17 bucks or something. Really? Wow. Yeah. Because nice. like they're, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I think they're on time. They weren't due for months, but. Mm hmm. I know a lot of these retailers are just trying to push stuff out and make room for the new stuff coming. Yeah, yeah. I would say Arthur said the head should be a little bigger. Yeah, I could, I could see that. The head and the hands are and the fists are pretty small. anything. The fist hands are way too small. Yeah, I agree. It's really funny with the fist hands on. It's like three and three quarter inch hands on a yeah. six inch body. Yeah. How does he scale next to like K two S O Black Series? Are they about the same height? Mm -mm. Now, K2S no. was still way taller. Yeah, okay. he's going to be tall. I don't have him right at hand, but... That much shorter than K2. Okay, yeah. so it's, 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 it's comparable. Okay. Yeah, K2's big. I, mean, yeah. I don't have that figure anymore. He's just so he's tall. falling over on me. He towers over everybody. Yeah, yeah, he's a big guy. Yeah, yep. <clears throat> so yeah. Arthur's my Alaskan friend, I just found out, because I grew up in Alaska, too. And oh, I cool. still post a cool. picture up of up on the mountainside there. That's awesome. Nice. It's fun to have Star Wars collectors everywhere, right? Yeah, literally oh, yeah. worldwide. <laughs> and you shop at Dark Dark Side too, Art says. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Dark Side is great. Yeah, that's where I'm getting my comic Leia from from Dark Side. Yeah. And they're in Tennessee. So once it ships, it gets to Atlanta pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, like, I love that they've been doing sales eight. like all summer. It's been really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, what did you guys think about? Uh, I know you wanted to talk about PulseCon, David. Did you want to go mm -hmm. first or Matt? Uh, why don't you start us, Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, well, I wanted to ask the question. Let's just get this out of the way. Did you order anything after watching those two days of streaming? And what What did you order? What did you actually put? What got you enough to pull the trigger on buying? Um, I'll be honest. Um, none of the Andor stuff really spoke to me. Um, I'm kind of with those, I'm kind of taking the same approach as, you know, the, the rogue one. Um, I'm like, yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see. I'll see if they can, maybe I can catch them on a discount or maybe if they start to discount them down, like, um, entertainment earth is kind of my go-to hmm. the 40th anniversary stuff. Um, I mean, uh, I like the scout trooper. Love the card back. Um, that's my favorite design of troopers. So I had I had to get one of those. And uh, Wicked looked good. So oh. I did uh, I did pre order those two. Um, not understanding why we just. I mean I know Lando is in that outfit in the film, <laughs> but it's like yeah. we just got him. He just came out not only in the archive, but he just came out within the last couple of years. So it's like oh. they're really pushing that figure. And I just, I don't understand why. Cause it's like, I think we can get like, there's other characters. Like what if we got a, a an ATST driver on a card back? I mean, I think yeah. that would be perfect. Yeah. Um, or if, what if we got like an Imperial officer, um, you know, or even the emperor, they could have put the emperor on a card back instead of Lando. So I just thought it was a wasted spot. Um, Cause I know they're only doing, you know, select characters per wave. Um, so I just went with the scout trooper and wicket. Honestly, that was the only two that spoke to me. Yeah. From the Star Wars. Brian says he spent way too much on Black Series. <laughs> <laughs> and Ridley, you don't pre order at all, but you've been needing the six inch indie. Uh, so you had to have an indie. Yeah. Oh, Indiana yeah. Jones. Yeah. I did the same. Yeah. I actually, so good. I, I got the Indiana Jones and I got Wicket and the Scout Trooper, just like you, Jeremy. Because I like yeah. those card backs and I wanted to, I feel yeah. Pulse have a decent chance of getting a, a card back in okay shape. Uh, they usually ship yeah. pretty well for me. Mm -hmm. um, and I just wanted a wicket. I mean, I'll, I'll open up wicket. I'll probably buy two wickets and, and open whatever card is not as great as the other, you know? Um, yeah. And then I bought two other items during the weekend. One was the Serpentor 
from G.I. Joe. Mm, which okay. is with his that was pretty chariot. Awesome. It, that's pretty it, awesome. it was very cool. Um, I am a G.I. Joe fan. I did grow up with G.I. Joe and you know yeah. that was so Serpentor. And then I got the three pack of Marvel Legends with Daredevil, Electra, and Bullseye. Oh, so, cool. Okay. I thought I heard a lot of people nice. were excited about that, especially the Daredevil. Yeah. yeah. And Hans clothes. <laughs> So you know what I I'm, I was thinking about it. I'm like I think Wicket would have been a perfect opportunity. You know the um so in the the 20th anniversary of Empire, they did Luke and they did Yoda. I think it would have been a perfect opportunity to do Endor Leia with Wicket in a two pack. And, and maybe they'll do good. that in the main line, like in the Galaxy packaging. But I was like, eh, Wicket for 25 bucks was kind of rough. I was like, oh man. Yeah. But you know. Hmm. That's a good point. So what'd you get, Matt? What'd you buy? So as far as Andor, I am absolutely loving the show. I know not everyone is 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 really into it because it is slower. It's very different from anything we've seen, but I am just absolutely loving that show. So I ordered uh, Cassian, Luthen, Bix, and uh, Mon Mothma from the Andor uh, wave. And I ordered Axe Woes. Oh and, yeah, I forgot about X. I did yeah, too. Yeah, and, and Wicked. Yeah, because yeah. I already okay. have four. I've got four scout troopers already. I was like, Argh. and and I've got you know Han and Leia already from Indoor. So yeah. I just grabbed Wicked from the 40th line um, so far. Yeah. But looking forward to Paplu. Uh, that'll be in the next wave, I believe. Um, did yeah, they I announce that find, they were? They'll find a way to repack him somehow. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I think they will. Yeah, because a lot of people, a lot of people didn't buy that that Heroes Vendor set because it was expensive. Yeah, it was very yeah. expensive. Yeah, and I did order uh, Indy. Nice. Yeah, and you know what? I heard that there. I don't know. If, I don't know if anybody s- said this. Like, if it's been circulated around the internet, but mm. I think they said they're not going to make a lot of those the Indy figures. Really? I think. Really? And I don't know if that's them trying to hype it up so everyone's like, "Oh, I gotta have one." Yeah, but it's yeah. like I, I don't know if they're gonna make a lot of them. Kind of like the Ghostbuster Plasma series. I think it'll be kind of like a one or two wave and done. Right. But, yeah. We'll see. Indy and Tote went up the following day, and I just grabbed Indy. Uh, mm-hmm. The more I looked at the the pictures of Tote, the glasses look weird to me. You know, bit. The sides. It just looked a little weird. Now the melty face looked amazing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but for now, I just grabbed Indy because uh, because I was ten. Uh, I think I was 10 when Raiders came out. Oh, yeah. wow. I was a huge, huge fan of Raiders. I still have my mm-hmm. bull whip. Like an <laughs> older bull whip. I Raiders still have it upstairs in our closet. I had a hat and a coat that I uh, would put on. I, I had love the, Harrison Ford in those movies. He's I great. I love Inch Indiana Jones at the time. Um, wow. But I absolutely loved Raiders, so I, I had to grab Indy. I think he has a real soft spot for that character. Maybe even more than Han Solo, because... I noticed that uh, at D23, when he came out on stage, he got like emotional just coming back, yeah. you know, that they're going to do another film. And so I'm like, and, you know, obviously we heard that he wanted Han Solo to die, you know, a couple yeah, of times. He was, he was with, I think he was done yeah. with Han after Jedi. Yeah. So, yeah, probably even after Empire, he was like, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. And I mean, and he was such a great Indiana Jones. I love those films. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Iconic. Arthur says he was tempted with all the figs, but only got Indy. Yeah, same with me. I only bought the main character for now. Yeah, yeah, I just went yeah. with Indy as well from uh, the like. entertainment. Hey, Belloc looked really cool. Yeah, for Marion, I kind of wish they would have went with her uh, the out uh, the outfit from the bar mm. with the white dress. Yeah, yeah. As, yeah, as opposed to the red. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It well, also makes me wonder if they'll maybe do a couple of waves. If they'll, you know, if yeah. they have the likeness of the actress, you know, maybe they'll mm-hmm. do another wave. But, yeah. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. Uh, but I could not pass up Indy. <laughs> not pass it up. I, just want to I remember my- playing playing oh. with a bullwhip as a kid, too. I, I watched those movies and, like, I want a whip. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've still got it. I, I yeah. popped myself in the ear, in the head, you know, playing yeah. with it. Yeah. Trying to make it crack, trying to make the yeah. noise. Yeah, <laughs> well, trying to swing it around and then get it into a, you know, yeah. and I, it was pop, constant. Yeah. When do, when does that new film come out? Is it next year or is it twenty four? I'm not sure. It's got to be next year. Yeah. Okay, I would think so. Yeah. Hope 
as removable so Dave Filoni can borrow it. Oh yeah, the uh, Trapper get Wolf. Yeah, you get a good, good, you know, awesome. good hat. Yeah. yeah, they're repeating the three point seven inch figures when they did Crystal Skull came out. They oh, probably still yeah. have the molds. Yeah, they probably still have the mold for those. I mean, that wasn't that long ago. Yeah, maybe. So the 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 retro Indiana figure is mm -hmm. 3D scanned from Steve Evans' personal collection figure from the 80s. Oh, is that the, the guy on Instagram? Did you hear that? What's that? Is that the guy on Instagram, uh, Mr. Stevie? Yeah, Mr. Stevie, 18. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. he was he was saying that because they did that with the with the retro collection figures for Star Wars too. They scanned his collection because they didn't have the old Kenner molds, right? So they mm. they did digital scans of his figures. Oh, and, he, wow. and he's a big. I know he's a collector of those old. You know, a lot of old old eighties kind of mm -hmm. you know really figure neat. lines like that. I didn't know that. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. So I know he was excited about the Indiana Jones coming out and the retro. You know, so I I think he'll probably be pushing for more of those. If you know, it seems. That you know, way. I watched a video not too long ago on um, I think it was Analog Toys, and he did a pretty good um, video just about like you know that the three and three quarter inch line you know, back then, like the original figures and how they kind of, they world build, you know, a lot of, they had vehicles yeah. and some really cool stuff. Yeah. And that's why I'm like, I wonder if they're going to, if they're going to deep dive at all, if they'll kind of, you know, test the waters with like a vehicle or, you know, something just to see how it does. Yeah. It just depends how many fans are out. I mean, the, the people that are going to buy those are guys like us, right. That are, that yeah. we're, you know, so, and we're the same ones buying all the other main lines. So it's, right. it depends if they, I don't know. Like you said, we just we just all said that we all just bought one figure, if that, because mm -hmm. because we're mm -hmm. buying everything else. So I don't know. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Stretch yeah. stretch the fan base too thin, and then it won't. You know, they won't be able to sell it all. You know. And it seems like Hasbro's but, more conservative as far as you know, like when something big comes back, like when they took the big swing with the uh, the Black Series Tie Fighter, and it mm -hmm. just bombed, and they're like, well, maybe we don't want to do vehicles right off the bat. We want to see what yeah. the interest is going to be first. And how the movie does. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, getting back to Lando, I'm thinking it was more of a waste of an archive slot, if anything. Yeah. It should have been R2-D2 because C-3PO was in that way. Mm, I mean, so many people don't have that original R2, and he's awesome. Like me. I mean, yeah. I've been wanting a clean R2 since day one. Yeah. But now they're going to do a completely now, new one. They're going to retool it and re-sculpt a new one. So. Yeah, which I'm I afraid it may throw the display off a little bit. Having you know, if they make it bigger, but yeah. you know, what can you do? Yeah. Well, and I never was a big fan of the gimmick with the whole the clicking the top ends, with the legs. It's kind yeah. of silly. It doesn't fit in with the Black Series. Yeah, <clears throat> it was a cool idea, but it, it doesn't work. I mean, it, and it was one of the original what 2013 figures, I think. Orange box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The orange box. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and I'm I like just saw one of those for sale this week at my local comic shop. The 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 orange line R two in box unopened. Oh and wow! He had it for sixty five bucks, which wow. I guess is like going rate. Right. So I thought that wasn't too bad. I actually kind of took a double take. Like, mm, maybe I should get it's, that. But it's still over a hundred on Amazon. I is found it? it. I found it a couple months ago at a local collector shop here. There was no box, but I got it for twenty five dollars, and he's complete. Oh. He has all his accessories. Wow! Wow! I couldn't pass it up. I was yeah. like, I gotta have this. <laughs> Absolutely. And actually, I sold the wow. Empire Strikes Back one, the the dirty one. I got yeah, the Dagobah one. Yeah, that's the only one I have. That's the only R two I have is Dagobah R two. The and dirty. He's fine. One. He he looks good. It's fine. It looks fine on the shelf, but yeah, I. I really want a clean R2 and a shiny 3PO to go with the Yavin. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And you know what? I'm, I'm hoping since they said it's kind of in the pipeline, you know, they're, they're doing a new sculpt, a new mold. Yeah. I know, see the comment on the screen there. I'm hoping they do it for the Empire or the Return of the Jedi anniversary and do it with the drink accessory tray. Oh, yeah, with the drink tray, yeah. That'd be yeah. cool. Yep. Yep. I mean, that'd be like a deluxe, I'm sure, nowadays. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Linger the rabbit. Hey, thanks for joining the stream. Hey. Will R2 have flames on his rocket boosters? Will all the other astromechs have the same accessories going forward? Yeah, who knows, right? Who knows? Yeah, I don't nice. know. I mean, it, it'd be not, I mean, when are they going to start doing more Attack of the Clone stuff? I mean, we're still kind of waiting for them to build out that, that yeah. line, that series. Well, the 20th of Clone Wars, apparently, is on yeah. the horizon. They were very specific about Clone Wars. They didn't say anything about Attack of the Clones anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And they in. said, uh, what did they say? They said it's going to be like a mini beat or it's going to be something 
it'll probably just be yeah. a couple waves, probably a retailer exclusive, like the Target mm -hmm. ones were. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There's yeah, it's too bad. A lot of people were hoping for a full, you know, 40th or 20th. I mean, um, kind of wave or two from it. But I still, I would love. I mean, I wish you could still, um, like when they used to take uh, fan questions at the actual like panels at the conventions. I'd love to ask him. I'd say, you know, hey, you guys did Boba Fett in the Black Series helmets. Where's Django? How come we haven't mm. pushed out Django yet? Why isn't there a new Black Series like Deluxe Django? I mean, it's like, I don't know. It's still a little weird. Yeah. Yeah, Django's one that I missed, but I've heard it's not a good figure. Uh, it's it's not great. I I went, I sold, I sold the original one. The legs and the feet are not very good. He has a hard time standing up. Yeah. Um, when they reissued it at GameStop and did it with the better updated face cam, yeah. I picked up that one, and that's the one I have. Did you? Yeah. I got an old one for you, Matt, if you want one. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Arms, they barely get to 90, right? Yeah, and you got the that's hoses there that break really easy if you if you oh. flex it too much. He's yeah. the only Black Series figure that I have on a stand because he will mm -hmm. fall that often. Fall. <laughs> yeah. hey, lately, you could probably see where am I. K2 is now on a stand. Yep. Mm. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. yeah. He'll just randomly, and he'll take the whole shelf with him. <laughs> yeah, well, I moved him to the end. Yeah. Because so often, because I had him, like, I don't know, sort of a time gen. Yeah. And it's like once every few days, blam, he'd be down there on the floor with oh, yeah. Saw and Jen and Kathy, and they would all be on the floor. We'll yeah. be sitting in the living room. My wife and I will be watching Netflix or something, and she'll hear something. Sure. She'll be like, Stuff falls in your room all the time. I'm like, oh, yeah, once that plastic shifts and yeah. the temperature changes, something's going. <laughs> yeah, but you know, K2 has just loosened over time. Yeah. And it's not yeah. so much the ankles. It's the knees. Yeah. Yeah, and what he has the weird – I mean, I know it's the design, but he has the clear joints. And I, yeah. have, I wonder if that has something to do with it, like maybe the plastic's weak or something. It's interesting. He's just so top-heavy, little skinny legs, long legs, you know, big upper body. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Falls over. So I, I really got, love the, the character that K2SO from, from uh, Rogue One that was the best character. And absolutely. So just from that character itself, it makes me want to collect a whole bunch of different versions of K2SO. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. So he looks good just standing there when he'll stand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that purpley blue. Yeah. And he, he's got, they did a really good job. Like, look at all the paint. I mean, they really yeah. mm -hmm. they gave him a lot of love. And he was early in the Black Series black and red line, like mm -hmm. 15 yeah. or 20. It was really interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, definitely a good looking figure. Yeah. And you got to have him be standing next to his, you know, Boba. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I ever get one, I'd probably stick him next to Dooku. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't have Dooku. That's one of the ones I did not pick up. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Jeremy. <laughs> what is that? This is your diorama. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? <laughs> oh, this is right. funny. I, that is actually bamboo cuttings from a bamboo. I was actually walking down the street and I saw a landscaper was cutting out a bunch of bamboo. And it oh, looked nice. like the perfect size for uh, for what I want to do for you. So oh, I, cool. I just asked the guy, hey, can I grab a bunch of your clippings? And I just walked down the street with a bunch of bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. probably like, uh, yeah, okay, take whatever you want. <laughs> That's funny, well, Jer man. Jeremy's asked me to try to do a predator backdrop for him for a NECA predator Ooh. figure. So yeah. I've got to figure out how to do a jungle. And I'm thinking like some bamboo and some. That'd be great. Because you know, I don't, uh, out here in the desert, I don't have a lot of greenery. I got like a couple much. bushes in my yard. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But yeah. anyway. Yeah. That'll be cool, though. That'll look good. I can make that It work. will. It will look good. I, I'm, I got some thought. In it. I, I'm slow, but I'm, I'm just letting you know. I haven't forgotten. So no, 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 for sure. And I take. I, I got to tell you, in the summertime, I don't go outside much. I, that's why my photography has been a lot in my, uh, in my man cave and in the living room because I don't go outside yeah. in the summertime. Too hot. Uh, but yeah. the, cactus, uh, the cactus is what Sorraro. Sorraro. Sorraro cactus. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Sawaro yeah. or Sararo, something Sararo. like that. Yeah, it's good. It's yeah. a real word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway. So was kind of what was the other thing? Um, oh, man. Oh, you got more comments here about dogs knocking over your shelves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ridley. I was kind of messing around with this guy. I don't know if I showed you this guy. I 
have the uh this is the hot toys oh Ooh. wow yeah really? hang, hang on i gotta get you the big screen for that one hang on there you go he's uh he's pretty gorgeous so look at I that just, i got him down i don't mess with them that much because i don't i'm like Ugh. but he's pretty pretty awesome when did that come out was that a recent release this was, I want to say it came out around maybe the end of 2020, maybe early 21. I had him pre-ordered. I was on the wait list for a long time because um, oh. he, he kind of came and went, and then I was able to get him on a restock, I think. And uh, so I just, and it actually, it's pretty cool. He comes with, he has like an alternate version. So the mask, the T-visor is just, it's a little bit different. And he comes with like different pieces. It's almost like a, what do they call it? Uh, like they just call it alternate version armor hmm. so it's oh. almost like two figures in one and he was uh it was like 285 so i just i made payments on him and then i finally we finally got him to ship That's wow so, but it's gorgeous man it, it's got like these little braids here you know, like, uh, he braids plastic yeah i mean they look like literally somebody hand braided these it's yeah. it's pretty crazy wow. <laughs> yeah the so. detail is incredible yeah he's he's pretty yeah. awesome so i I have him and I have the Death Watch, and that's the only two hot toys I have. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm just leaving there. I but have I'm one I'm hot back. toy in a box I have never opened. <laughs> really? Which one was it? Mando and Grogu with the Beskar oh, armor. Nice. Oh, yeah. I pre ordered it because I just thought it was awesome. And then I, I'm like, I actually haven't opened it because I, I, I'm afraid that if I open it, I will like it too much. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's yeah, it's a slippery slope. I'll tell you. I started of uh, the first thing I bought was the it was the um the scout trooper from the Mandalorian, and I got that, and then I was like, Ugh, I want more. And I'm like, all right, time out. This is way too expensive. They are. Like I was telling I was telling Matt I sold some Black Series in a lot to somebody, and then I kind of rewarded myself. I bought the Death Watch Mando, mm -hmm. and then I was like, all right, I'm that's it. I'm good. <laughs> no more. And I'm more of a I'm a one twelve scale guy. I don't do a lot of the six scale stuff. Mm. You guys have seen my retro six scale behind me, like that wicked up there. You know, it's the mm -hmm. jumbo figures. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I, that's what I cool. do on six scale. Yeah, that's those fun. are cool. I like those. Yeah, those I had are... the um, I had the, what is it? Uh, figure and Dan. I had him in that scale in the box. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. Did Mando Mike is here. Hey, oh, Mike. Uh, how many of you guys, um, how many of the, uh, what are they called, the modal nodes, or how many of the band members did you guys pick up? Great question. Zero. Or I just have one. Really? I have one as well. You have none, David? That's surprising for you. <laughs> because I have five customs that I had already made. Oh, Ooh. okay. So I was, I'm good. Like, That's true. Yeah. I don't blame you. I mean, I want to get, I'd like to get the deluxe version, the one that has all the kind of unique, bigger instruments, but I'm not going to buy, I'm not going to buy that figure at $25 a pop. I mean, I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. Cause uh, null on shield after shipping is almost 50 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you go through the Disney store where it's a dollar more than Hasbro, it's still like, if you can get lucky and get it on free shipping, but it's, it's mm -hmm. not cheap. Yeah. It's not cheap. I'll get it at some point, And I think yeah. I'm going to get one more figure in Dan. But I don't think I'm going to do all seven. I mean, just for you know what's interesting is we were, we were, the community was kind of clamoring for those figures for years. Like, oh, we want the band, we want the band, and then they make it, and then it was like, mm, I don't know. Like, I don't. It's like, well, yeah, they're, if you want to buy four of them, that's a hundred bucks plus tax yeah. and shipping. Uh -huh. so, I thought they would have done it in a four pack and just given us all the instruments. I wish they would have done that, but yeah, the four pack days are kind of over. I don't think that'll ever happen again. Yeah. Yeah, uh, getting it loose on eBay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'll, I love the boxes. I have all the boxes in another room, you know, displayed. Yeah. yeah. I like boxes. <laughs> if if I did not have customs of the of the band members already that I had worked on, yeah. I would be buying them. And I would buy a set of five. I would get and I would have dropped whatever that is, two hundred bucks or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, seven, it's over two hundred. Yeah. 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 Seven black well, that's why I, I tell people too to watch um keep an eye on like amazon or like even entertainment earth they do a lot of like non-mint stuff so yeah. you can get stuff for like under 20 bucks if the box is damaged i mean if you're an opener it's no big deal yeah but i mean i got i was telling matt i think i scored uh when they did the hoth rebel soldiers 
a lot of those card backs were damaged at Amazon. I was getting them for under 20 bucks, 15 bucks for the yeah. the Hoth Rebels. Yeah, yeah, you got so, your Hoth Rebel soldiers that way. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. So, I mean, you can do it if you're just, you know, you just got to be more, you got to hunt for it, really. Mm -hmm. Here's clue. a comment for you, Matt. What do you think? Is Ridley correct? For the Ewok drummer. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they do that. That would be cool. I mean, he should have come with the helmets too. <laughs> or just have a line of stormtrooper helmets. Yes. And, and just give him some, uh, yeah, give him so some. That, that brings up a good point. Let me ask you guys. So go, kind of going back to PulseCon, I was thinking about, because I know they kind of started, I mean, PulseCon was a thing and then it became like an online event, you know, back in 2020 because of everything that happened. Yeah. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know, they did some pretty cool stuff for 2020. They did the the Wampa, um, mm. or not the Wampa. I'm sorry. The um, what's it called? The uh, what's the the ice monster on Hoth? I'm drawing a blank right now. Yeah, the Wampa. Yeah, no, that's the, the Wampa. Wampa. Okay. Yeah, they did the yeah. Wampa on the special packaging, and he was yeah. like 30, 35 bucks, and he was kind of updated. You know, he didn't have the blood all over him. Um, yeah. So they did that black instead of bloody. Yeah, 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 and he looked great. And the packaging they did was kind of retro style, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then they did the Heroes of Endor set, which I thought was weird to do that during the Empire Strikes Back anniversary. Yeah. But then yeah. I'm like, they didn't really do anything for this PulseCon. Like, there was nothing kind of special. And I thought it was weird. I'm like, this is your guys' in house convention. Mm -hmm. And I know, you know, next year is Return of the Jedi, but it's like, you guys didn't really have anything special even to pre-order like it's like you know right. we just have the regular card back stuff and then i th i was reading today that uh toy fair is not going to be in february next year it's going to be in october hmm. really huh. yeah so it's like i don't i don't know if hasbro is going to move up their pulse con or if they're just going to pick a different weekend but it's like i know they have a big presence at toy fair yeah so i'm like i don't know it's kind of it feels like it's uh i don't know like they didn't put as much effort into the anniversary for jedi hmm. Yeah, because as far as PulseCon exclusives, you know, they had the um, yeah, Cassian and B2 set. Yeah. That was it, wasn't it? And then Vintage yeah. Collection was the, you know, the Dark Trooper and Boff Gideon and yeah, yeah, Mando. But yeah, for Black Series, yeah, it was just... Um, it, it was kind of light. It was very yeah. light. Yeah. yeah. And that's what makes me wonder if, there's, if they're kind of transitioning or... If they're saving stuff for next year, like if they're, I don't know, if there's just wasn't a lot of stuff planned for this year, um, which was weird because they could have done the, you know, Attack of the Clones anniversary. So right, yeah. it was just a little bit odd to me. I was just thinking back on what we used to, what we used to see from them. Hasbro is odd to me. <laughs> That's a good word. I, you know, <laughs> yeah, Very. I don't know. I don't, yeah, I, I just feel like I don't know what they're doing most of the time. Like they could be make, you know, it, yeah. it, let me just say it, it's become obvious to me that they have their corporate priorities that are not to give me the cool collection I want. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, and it's not right. all about it, me. It, no, it, well, it, it, it doesn't seem like there's as much um, like forward thinking, like planning as there used to be. And mm -hmm. things like stuff is okay. Well, what's the current media? We're going to pump out Kenobi. We're going to pump out Book of Boba, Mando, Andor. Where's the original trilogy stuff? And then you'll have people that right. be like, well, they're giving us, you know, the aliens from the cantina. And it's like, well, yeah, we're almost 10 years into the line. We should have that stuff by now. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and, and I almost am of the fact that they should take the archive and make it just original trilogy stuff. Like, just oh, make that, cool. give us yeah. what we want and then keep the mainline stuff for the current properties. Yeah. yeah. Cause like you said, I, I can't figure out what they're doing. And that's why I kind of, I was going to tell you guys, like I, I haven't bought any black series the last one I bought was Death Watch Mando, and that was, I mean, shoot, that was probably before the summer. And then yep. I also bought, uh, I bought, um, what's it, Ponda Baba, because I got him on a discount, like 18 mm. bucks on Amazon. Yeah. But I haven't bought any Black Series this year, hardly any. Mm. Yeah, for me, I have slowed down too, and I've said this on Instagram and stuff, I, I have definitely lost my enthusiasm for collecting black series like i had you know a year ago i was in two years ago i was buying everything Me every too. single release Me too. and uh i've just i don't know it's like i've lost some of that uh interest and i i think it's just i mean it's a combination of things yeah. um but really it's like i have these expectations and they're just not 
the right expectations to have, I guess, for Hasbro. You know, if I think if it yeah. was me running Hasbro, I would do all these cool figures, right? But they're just yeah. not doing that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, Matt, let me ask you this, because I know you buy a lot of the, the current stuff. Um, yeah. Do you think, I mean, and, you know, you can, you can be honest, you can say yes or no, but it's like, do you think there's a little bit too much focus on the current properties as far as, like the Mandalorians were what, like 30 figures deep yeah, into that line? It's gotten so huge. They completely yeah. just glossed over Book of Boba Fett. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. Um, now, we did get some reveals for Pipeline. Yeah. Some pretty good ones, I think. I mean, yeah, Cad Bane from Book of Boba looked amazing. Yeah. Tuscan Chief, I think, is going to look really good. Yeah. I kind I, of expected those, though. Yeah. The Pike Soldier, mm, you know, kind of, kind of cool. But yeah. they're really jumping on Andor. You know, that's yeah. the current thing is Andor. Yeah. Mm. See, and the thing I, that about Andor that, I mean, it just in watching the show, and obviously no spoilers. I'm not going to go into details about it. But mm. I noticed there's a very extreme lack of alien characters. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. a lot of human characters. And I'm like, that's not. And I know this is a different type of Star Wars, but it's like, Where's all the aliens at? This is, yeah, the galaxy's were, big. <laughs> yeah, there were a few on Ferrix mm -hmm. in that you know first few episodes, but but you're right. The past two episodes have been pretty much just all human characters. Yeah, yeah I wonder if that's a budget dog. issue. It's just like you know, make, yeah. makeup and special effects. I don't know. You know it's easier yeah. to do humans, right? So right. When well, they're also doing a lot of, they're actually building sets. They're not using the volume as much they're on the building location building sets. Yeah, it's totally different. Yeah, that that's made a huge difference, by the way. Yeah, it looks so good. Oh yeah, it the immersion, good. the immersion, and the, the making you feel like you're actually on these planets and in these worlds. Yeah, brilliant. They've done a great job with that. Yeah. Yep. So I just want to give a sec to Mando Mike here. Mike, someone I've talked to for a while. Uh, yeah. He says he's totally out of Black Series now. Yeah, and you had a huge collection. I know you had a huge collection. You had a whole wall covered in Black Series figures. I remember seeing those pictures like a couple of years ago. Um, I'll so be honest, I'm, I'm kind of getting there myself, man. I'm kind of with you, David. I've kind of lost the passion for it lately. And not to and anybody that is into it and loves it, I mean, I totally get it. it there yep. are great elements to the line that I love. Yeah. yeah. I'm just to the point now where the current stuff doesn't speak to me as much. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the, I mean, a lot of the reuse stuff is kind of like, eh. I mean, yeah. you know, people complain about other lines reusing, but it's like with star Wars, it's a little bit more blatant. The black series, it's a little bit more obvious. Um, Sometimes some of these other lines, at least we're getting different characters. Mm -hmm. So like legends and classified, but um, yeah, I'm kind of the same way. And that's why I'm thinking, I'm like, next year for the anniversary is there anything special planned like do we have anything new that's coming that we haven't seen before um you know i, I don't know i mean of the 40th of jedi i think wicket is the only new one yeah right well they made they made a big deal about they're gonna do a new luke and they're gonna do a new vader and it's like well, yeah we, we kind of expect that those are yeah and the soldier uh the indoor commando that's yeah New. Which is going to be a deluxe now, which I don't. That's be deluxe. Cool. Yeah, it'd be cool if they do the swappable face thing like they did on the Hoth Rebel Soldier. I agree. That'd be awesome. I agree. You know, that's one of my favorite figures to this day. Is that's is great. the Hoth Soldier? You know, yeah. Infernal Hippo makes a good point here. He says, "Yeah, the figures are still good. The selection of yeah, the figures are good. They're good yeah. figures for what they are at that price point. They're they're fine." Yeah. yeah. No, they look great. I'm just saying as far as this, like, you know, like you said there, the selection is off. And I think like, I'll give you a good example. Back in 2020, when they went to the new packaging, if you look at that first wave, when we had Vader, we had the Hoth Rebel Soldier, oh. we had the new Stormtrooper, we had a Clone Trooper. It was a nice variety. It kind of, kind of gave you had, everybody you had, a little yeah. bit of... Snow Speeder Luke. He was yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. And then you got some repacks of, you know, like the Hoth Rebel Soldier was in the next wave because he's an army builder. Right. And it's like nowadays I'm just like, eh, I don't know. I just wish there would be a little bit more. Um, like I'll give you an example. Look at Marvel Legends. You'll have an MCU wave and it'll make sense. It'll be for that property. But mm. then they might also sprinkle in a couple of comic versions of those characters or the build a figure might be a comic version. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing. And, and I know Black Series will never do a build a figure, but it just makes me wish that they would uh, mix yeah. it up a little bit more like we used to see. Yeah. Yeah, Black Series being the only thing that I collect. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm fine. Yeah, you're you're going to keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. keep going. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah there's no real reason for me to stop um, yeah well for Matt what I'd love to see for you is like they need to make some diorama stuff like the mm -hmm. cantina that, that was a good start but I'd like to see them expand upon that and mm -hmm. if it's going to be like a, I mean, hopefully it wouldn't be a HasLab, but if they're going to charge like, you know, a higher price point, make mm -hmm. it something where you can, you can use it and have it a real, like yeah. a centerpiece of your display. Yeah. 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 Ridley, I, I Ridley makes a good point right there too. Yeah. Go ahead. Was, oh yeah. Uh, figures. Yeah. 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 Captain Panaka. Mm -hmm. Super bad. A, yeah. a lot of great aliens uh, characters. Like Jar Jar Binks is a great figure. People don't love the character. I get it. Great figure though. They knocked it out of the park with that. Yeah. I bought a couple of them. <laughs> yeah. It's an awesome figure. Yeah. And he was a deluxe, which I think was kind of a mistake. He shouldn't have been a thirty dollar figure, which yeah. I got. I got him down. I got him at twelve dollars. It was twelve a bucks. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got him in the upper teens. I think. Um, yeah. I would never pay full price for it. You know. But, right. yeah. I want to talk about this comment that Hippo just made. He said it's mainly yeah. Disney pushing out new Star Wars media like Andor and Kenobi, and of course Mando. Yeah. So I really wonder. You know, has like, does Disney have contractual obligations with Hasbro saying? you must produce so many figures from this new show. Like I want, or is it Hasbro choosing to do it because that's the new show and they sell more figures for current media, or maybe yeah. it's a mix of the both. And I don't know, but it, it's very clear that we're getting a ton of new figures for all the new shows yeah. and not as much of the, the figures that are still lacking from the original line. What do you, what do you guys think? I agree. I, I mean, think that's, that's a on Kenobi. I mean, they had Kenobi figures out before the series even aired. Yeah. And I was going to something as far as figures coming out uh, before the show is finished. It's almost like spoilers. Mm -hmm. You know, like for Andor, seeing the Scout Trooper, I would have loved to have been surprised, you know, seeing a Scout Trooper in, in Andor. But now, you know, the figures are already been uh, revealed. Now we know we're going to see one. Yeah. Oh, you mean yeah. the, the scare? You talking about the scare? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I know. I know. Trooper. Trooper. Yeah. Short yeah. Trooper, not scout trooper. Yeah. No, I agree with you though, and I and that's why I'm like, and David, that's a great point you bring up because I'm wondering how much of it is Hasbro and how much of it is Lucasfilm slash Disney, because I think back to think about when the the Black Panther movie came out. I don't remember what year that was. That movie was so successful. They they almost like scrambled. They're like, oh, we got to make another wave. We got to put out another wave of those figures. Right. So Hasbro real quick pumped out another wave, and it's like, well, but I don't understand. I mean, some of this stuff, like you said, is coming out before we even see the character in the show. So it's like, yeah. what's the rush? And even look at, um, I'll give you an example. Look at look at Megs Mayfeld. So mm -hmm. we got Bill Burr season two because it was an easy reuse for them before we got mm -hmm. season one. Exactly. And like I just showed you, like, we don't have the Mithral still. He was in the first episode. Where's right. the Black Series version of that? You know what I mean? So that's what I don't understand is just the selection and the process of, okay, now we're going to go back. And it's like, like, look at Axe Woes. They pumped out Casca. We got Bo. And then it now we're waiting still for, for Axe. For and Axe. if you look too, you'll notice this, Matt, because you keep the packaging. Mm. We have Casca and we have Bo on the side of the art with their helmets on. And yeah. Axe has his helmet off and he's holding it. So it's like, and he's going to be on the line. <laughs> right. So it's like, what are we doing here? It's just so weird. I don't get it. And yeah. uh, I mean, and, you know, we got Fennec Shan. Fennec Shan was in obviously Book of Boba Fett, but she was in the Mandalorian first. Mm -hmm. Why didn't she come out in that series? You know, and it's just, it's very Boba odd to me. In the Book of Boba line. Yeah. I would expect Boba to be number one in his own, you know, line for his own show. Yeah. And you know what? I brought this as an example too. So, so you see how Marvel Legends does this kind of stuff. Mm, yeah. So they'll go back and they'll be like, "Look, we never did a proper version of this character. Like, we want to make it like the ultimate version." Mm -hmm. And they give us. I mean, this was a twenty-five, twenty-six dollar deluxe, and it comes with everything you need. And this movie came out in two thousand and eight. So it's like yeah. Legends will do that. They'll go back and be like, "Okay, well, what? Who, who did we miss? Or what? Where are there gaps in people's collections?" Yeah. And that's where I'm like, Black Series, I don't, I don't know what we're doing here. It's kind of odd. Sometimes I think like they need to double their staff and double their factories and like just put out more. Like, yeah, I don't know. Why is it taking so long and so little comes out? And I know the TVC guys are the same way. Like they're, oh, yeah. you know, they're it's why aren't you giving us figures? Yeah. You know? 
Yeah. I mean, and when you look at, I mean, I don't, I don't, David, I think you have this, but it's like when you look at stuff like this and you're like, and I know this was an expensive set and it came with, you know, just Obadiah in a, in a suit. Yeah. But when you're getting stuff like this from the Legends team, as much as, you know, they get dogged for a lot of the decisions they make, and rightfully so. But when you get something like this and you're like, what are we doing, Black Series? Like, why is there not as much love over there? And yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. And I want to, like, I love the line. It's literally what got me into collecting back in 2015, 2016, whatever it was. And I'm just like, I've, I'm just, I'm despondent about it. <laughs> Yeah, the Tatooine Power Rangers by kids. <laughs> the Mos Espa Vespas? No, I'm good. I don't need that. Would be easy pass. I, I would not put those on my shelf. Nope. No, that just did not fit into Star Wars at all. No, it felt Especially so on, much on, place. on Tatooine, it did not make sense. No, no. <laughs> and the fact that they were supposedly out of work, right? Their bikes sure are <laughs> nice and clean. Where'd they get, you know... Yeah, it was ridiculous. That whole thing was ridiculous. All the time cleaning their bikes. Yeah, but it's just silly. Yeah, and not to beat an old dead horse, but if they would have waited until the Rancor made its appearance on the show and then did the Haslab, totally different result. I mean, the price was still inflated. You know, it is what it is. The so, tears were weird. The tears would have been maybe more Book of the Boba Fett related. Maybe, maybe. would have done better. I don't know. So on that note, guys. I did talk to Mr. Stevie 18 Hasbro at okay. Con, and I yes. asked him that and he said they didn't know. They weren't told that there was going to be a Rancor and hmm. they weren't told that the Razor Crest was going to get blown up. Lucasfilm holds that so close to the vest. Like hmm. that's one of the problems here is 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 Lucasfilm and and like they're not communicating. Yeah. So like he just flat out said, "Yeah, if we had known that the Rancor was coming, we would have reworked that campaign. It would have had a Boba Fett saddle or whatever, and it yeah. would have gone through for sure. Definitely. Like, yeah, it's so frustrating. He was very frustrated when he told me that. I was like, yeah, man. I've, and he's not even on Star Wars team anymore. You know, this was right. But, this was know, yeah. pre Patrick, right? Yeah. We well, all, I don't, yeah, I don't remember, but Steve no. used to be on Black Series, but yeah. Um, yeah. he does Marvel now. Okay. You know what I've, but, I've been interested in too? So, you know, um, and I'll just give an example. You know, when you buy something from like Walmart or Target, you'll get an email and be like, hey, let's do a survey. You know, how did you like the product or how was our yeah. service or blah, blah, blah. You <laughs> notice when you order something from Hasbro Pulse, you never get an email saying, hey, what did you think? Or review the product <laughs> or was it good? Or did you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, don't you want some feedback from your consumers who buy this stuff? <laughs> oh, the, 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 the recent Hasbro corporate post talking about how they're going to like fire a bunch of people and increase profits 50%. And it says with the consumer as our north star, and I was like, "What is this language?" And like, I don't, you know, I know they've I, got, yeah. I used to work at American <laughs> Express, and that's the kind of stuff they used to send out in emails, and then they lay off a bunch of people over yeah. the phone. So right, yeah, yeah. same yeah. kind of corporate BS there. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it must be hard for the guys working there who 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 love the properties and love the designing, like the guys who are designing and sculpting, and yeah. It must be so hard to work in a, a corporate environment like that where you have all these restrictions. It needs to be done, but they can't because they're yeah. tied. Yeah. yeah. But even if, it, I mean, I don't know. I feel like Marvel was probably pretty close to the chest with, you know, obviously having the three Spider-Man and No Way Home. So, sure. Yeah. I mean, I believe it when they were like, yeah, we, I mean, a, a lot of us kind of were skeptical. We thought that was going to happen, but they didn't know. And obviously they're like, all right, well, we're going to do the figures now. It's going to take about a year and a half after right. the movie's out, but we're at least going to do them. So I, I get some of that kind of stuff, but then I'm like, well, wait a minute, this is your exclusive partner who you just renegotiated a longer contract with. Like, why is there not better communication? You guys are that worried about leaks. It's like, uh, mm. I can believe that to a certain extent. And I'm like, no, I don't know. I think there's just yeah. a lack of communication. Yeah. I don't know. So. You know, that's one movie I have yet to see. Oh, the Spider-Man movie? No way home. Oh, it's yeah. good. It's I have good. not seen. It. Yeah, I've heard it's great. Yeah, it was interesting how they how they brought everything together. Oh, Ridley says uh, you you were talking to you guys to, yeah to you today, Matt, about Force Awakens and Finn and how the the poster came out and spoiled it. Was that what it was? Well, just the fact that Finn in the poster, you know, was wielding a lightsaber. Oh yeah, you just came out with a blaster. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I, I I don't know. 
you know, why they make decisions like that. Well, it well, goes back to my to... Constable Zubio. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to mention that. Make it. Uh, Zuvio was made and then um and then it got cut right mm -hmm. um and yeah. i again i asked steve about that and he said because he was on the star wars line when that when that mm -hmm. figure was done and they were also disappointed that it didn't get the show and it was a, right in the beginning of the red red box you know yeah. figures but they didn't know and they took the loss on that. All those the Zuvio figures didn't sell, and it was their loss because you know yeah. this film changed something. So yeah. it's like they take a risk. You know, they take the risk deciding what figures they're going to put out. Like these Andor figures, they're taking a risk yeah. that these Andor figures are going to sell. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It seems kind of like a big risk to me. You know, and like I just I'd rather have them pepper in some more of the you know the old original trilogy figures and the Clone Wars and and these other more stable characters. It just yeah. You know, these huge waves of figures dedicated to Kenobi and Mando and, you know, especially when, yeah. And you kind of have to kind of look, I mean, they have to kind of look back at the Rogue One days and be like, look, a lot of that stuff sat, nobody was clamoring for it. I don't mm -hmm. believe that there was a lot of new collectors that were like, God, I really hope they reissue the Rogue One figures. I mean, granted they had photo reel and a lot of them look great, but a lot of those figures are already discounted and they haven't been out that long. So it's mm -hmm. like, nobody's really clamoring for a lot of these human characters that they're really trying to push. Yeah. You right. know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta know your fan base. What do we buy? We buy villains, we buy troopers, we buy army builders, aliens. I mean, they got to really stick to what they're great at. And I think they just missed the mark on a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Were there any aliens released as figures from Mando from Mandalorian? I guess we had Quill, right? Quill. Yeah. The Quills. spiders. That's about it. <laughs> and the spider. You know, everybody wants a hammerhead. That's a great example. Give us mm -hmm. a hammerhead. You know, like. Or what about yeah. who's the guys with the um the quorn? Yeah, the tentacles, the quorn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be a great figure. I, and that's the original trilogy too, so it could be dual right. purpose. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I'm like, I don't know. That's what I was watching. I went back and watched season two not too long ago, and. uh I'm like, you know, there's a lot of figures here that I'm just, I don't, the, the episode, um, even from, uh, what is it? Season one, the prison break episode, there's yeah. characters in there that they still have. Right. Done. You got the there. twilight guys, the, the brother, sister, yeah. the big, the big beefy dude, whatever his name was, you know? Yeah. And they only did the droid and, and yeah. all the Migs, obviously. Zero. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I'm like, yeah, I just, the, the, the yeah, really especially to go back and to skip out on characters that you didn't do and offer originally. Yeah. Like I'd love to see them do Mando on that speeder bike in the episode. Yeah, that's awesome. That looks that good. Looks, that looks just really showing good. you, Matt. You, you post about it. So yeah, I did a uh, I did a black wash on him to darken mm -hmm. him up a little bit because he's yeah, so bright like, white. Yeah, and and then just some black paint on the eyes and a little bit of pink in the mouth. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like it's yeah. Just wanted to that show that nice. to you. Looks that very looks nice. Good. I like it. Yeah. That's I made my buddy Josh here, Ford Ford. <laughs> Ford, yes. Ford, squid face and hammerhead seem like no brainers. Yeah, definitely. I agree yeah. for sure. I go back and I watch the cantina scene from A New Hope all the time, and I'm just like, oh. I'll take him, him, yep. him. <laughs> yeah, Man. even the bartender. I'm like, give us the bartender. We got the cantina. We got the bar. <laughs> yeah, I bought a custom head for the bartender. Bar. Yeah. Oh, nice. Was yeah. it off, like? Uh, was it off of Etsy or was it from a customizer? It was one of the guys in the Facebook groups. Um, yeah. mm. It was either uh, Scoundrel Stock or might have been Outer Rim Traders. I'm not sure which one of the guys. I, I can't remember mm. now okay. where I got it from. Yeah, so, but if but, they do the Deveronian from the Cantina set, yeah. do the same yeah. for Yeah. Yeah, you know. that would work. I guess yeah. still, I'm still clinging to you know my hope that they're going to do a Bantha one day. But. <laughs> That would be <laughs> nice. <laughs> and it was, I, yeah. I even take it with the sculpted hair like Chewbacca. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, that was gonna be my question. Do you think it would look better with plastic fur or actual like fuzzy fur? I mean, they've shown that they can do fuzzy fur. I mean, I know it's on a small scale, but look at the range trooper from Solo. You know, it's like they could do it, I think, if they wanted to, but it'd be hard. And that, yeah. I mean, look at that. That would be so <laughs> cool with a freaking Tuscan Raider on the back. <laughs> This is uh, from this is Galaxy's Edge. Um, That's nice. Hilarious. I That's picked awesome. it up because it, it's actually Black Series scale almost. It's a little small, but I, awesome. I looked at this. And I thought maybe I can give him a haircut or shave him, you know, customize him into something. But it could be an adolescent Bantha. 
I think you know if you may, you too. might if you hit it with some hairspray, it might get the hair to lay down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he makes noises. Check this out. Oh, he's he turned off. I don't know. Uh -oh. Anyway. Oh, okay. He talks. Maybe his battery's done. Yeah. That's but, cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Hey, Matt, I've got a friend in yeah. Alabama who makes these, you know, for, for Black Series. Really? Yeah. He's in Birmingham, I think. Uh, okay. Gary. So if okay. you ever want to connect with somebody local, he's a huge Black Series collector. He's got a bunch oh, nice. of. Yeah. Birmingham. Birmingham's about three and a half hours from me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe you guys could have been than, somewhere halfway. <laughs> yeah. But I know he's making Banthas and they look awesome. He's the guy who made the Blurg that I have in my collection. That's another one. The Blurg, man. Where's the Blurg yeah. at? Totally. Yeah. I know we need a Blurg for Quill. Yeah. Mando, too. And Mando. Yeah. Yeah. They could do that. I know they could do that. Dead Uncle Owen and Aunt Peru. Sure. I don't think we're getting those. <laughs> oh, you could just use uh, NECA sells a skeleton pack. You could just use those. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. Char them up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yeah. So. Ford saying you could use Three. the Andor releases for just civilians, right? Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, some blue milk. See, I like wonder... next year, I'm Here hoping next year that they'll do like a, um, they'll figure out a way to bring back the biker scout with the speeder bike and put it in like a retro box or something, especially because they're not doing windowless anymore. It's like mm -hmm. a lot of people would love to have that speeder bike. I just, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys know who uh, Zach Jack Dan is on on YouTube. No, so he, he uh, kind of no. does like some some different. Uh, he does like um, like checklists for different brands, different lines. And uh, I, I sold him one of my speeder bikes um, just because I was like, you know what? I've, I've had two for years now. I've kind of got my enjoyment out of them. And he never had one. So he was really excited to get it. Oh, so it's yeah. like I know there's people out there that would love another chance at that, you know? Yeah. And for the brown one. Yeah. Yeah. Right, the brown. Yeah. Yeah, and I it's like I feel like. Yeah. Why? And the, hero, the Heroes of Endor said it's like, okay, well, you guys still obviously you still have the mold. And I hope that's not the only way that people would have a chance is to have, have to buy a hundred dollars set to get that bike. Yeah. Well, the, the Mandalorian one that with Grogu was so hard to get to. It, it oh. sold out pretty quick. And yeah, it, Amazon exclusive. And yeah. It'll never, it'll probably never restock. Probably not. Yeah. I grabbed it on day one. It, it got here early. Yeah. And, and they I'm were happy. good about getting them out once they hit. Yeah. It's a cool set. Yeah. Uh, but I would love to have a brown one. I've noticed too that Amazon seems to be getting a few more exclusives. Like they got the um, the artillery uh, stormtrooper, the yellow guy. Mm -hmm. Bad, bad. It seems yeah. like they're they're getting troopers now as their exclusives. Mm -hmm. And the three pack. Remember some of the Ahsoka and Grogu and uh, yeah. what's the Mando with the spear, right? So. Yeah. Oh man, I don't even know how I feel about that. That's... I did not order that one. I'm not. That's for a new collector. If you're new, brand new to the line, yeah. But but you know yeah. what's funny? If you go out. You could price the. I mean, you won't get obviously the nice soft cloak with, with uh, uh, what's her name, Ahsoka. But it's like if you price those figures individually, you could get them for less than what that pack is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Island Journey Ray's cloak works great on Ahsoka. It yeah. Sure does. Yeah. You know, I've been meaning to do that. I haven't done that yet. Great. Look. Yeah. And that's why I look at that. I mean, that's again when you get Grogu as a single release. You know, and obviously he has his pram now. He's got a lot of the stuff that we had to buy in other sets, yeah. and now he's by himself for twenty five bucks. I'm just like, no, that's not cool. And I, yeah. I, you can't, you can't tell me there's that many new collectors that are clamoring for that. Yeah, know? yeah. Oh, you know, what I saw the other day. Sorry, Grogu and the pram. I saw the model kit, the Bandai model kit in Target. Oh wow! You know how they, uh, they have model kits for Mando, Mando and they had uh, Boba yeah. Fett and. They have a new one that just came out, and it's Grogu. I think it's a one six scale Grogu, or maybe one, I don't know if it's one six or anyway. But there's a larger Grogu there, okay. And then, but then there's a one twelve scale Grogu in his pram, and they actually have a pram in there and a little Grogu in that model okay. kit. And nice. I'm I'm just wondering if it how it's going to look. I some of them I'm sure will have bought it and put it together. Yeah, yeah but and it's the another option. But oh, what's that? The pram from season one. Yes, season one okay. pram, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. The brown clone trooper does look appealing. Oh, that, oh it doesn't that. look appealing, yeah. The gingerbread. Which one is, which one is that? That's the, the gingerbread Hall clone from the uh the Christmas line. Oh man. You know what? Which I don't have a single one of those. The pooper I, trooper. 
I appreciate, yeah, I appreciate the people that like that stuff. I think that's so silly, and I'm just I've like, never seen one. I don't own one. I had two, so I bought the crypt. I bought the Santa Claus Range Trooper, which I because I thought it was funny, and it was at Target, and I just happened to find it. And then I did have the uh, for a short time. I had a couple of the Snow Troopers. Okay, and I ended up selling them. I'm like, you know what? It, it just it's not for me. Even I people still, are like, I oh, I just take them out for Christmas, and it's like, yeah, even then, they're kind of they're just kind of silly. They're kind of gimmicky. Yeah. yeah. You know, and they're going to keep pumping them out because people scooped them up. A lot of resellers yeah. bought them. That's where they yeah. ended up. Probably, yeah. Yeah. They're all eBay exclusives now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We never got Ray with a yellow lightsaber. I don't know if they'll revisit Rise of Skywalker or not. I mean, they did Dark Ray, and that's it. That's that was all so time. weird, too. That was so random. It's like, can we at least get the Emperor from that film if you're going to do anybody? <laughs> it was weird. It's like that 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 moment was like, what, like half a second when we saw her with the teeth? And it was like... Yeah, literally. Okay. And it's the same face as the other Ray. It's not even a scary face. It's... Right. It's, oh, that was so strange. And see, that's a perfect example of they, they must have known about that ahead of time to make that figure. Mm -hmm. So, and that's yeah. why I mean, no Finn, you know, it's like no Poe from that movie. Really weird. Yeah. yeah. Very weird. Not the gingerbread one. That one looks awesome. I think the one I'm talking about. Oh, here. yeah. You're talking about it's like a like a brownish color. It's a it's a clone trooper, but he's got like brown, yeah, like brown markings. I don't know it's what the, battalion he is. I, I can't remember. But I know what he's talking about. It's kind of a yeah. brown purpley color. It's Mason's battalion. Yeah, Walgreens hasn't had an exclusive for a while, so they yeah, seem to always, they always get the, the clone troopers. The yeah, they had the yellow one. Yeah. 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 They had yellow and then blue. They had that blue phase one, which I thought was kind of Lieutenant. Yeah. odd. Yeah, out of the basement didn't like that one. That he's talking about. <laughs> right. Well, and the thing, too, is it's like, why are you making clone? Why are you making army builders exclusives? Like, stop it. Make that a mainline release. Or make it a Hasbro Pulse exclusive and let people buy, like, five or six of them if they want to, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one eighty seven Italian. Yep. So, but yeah, it's uh, like that one. it's it looks good. It looks alright. I like it when they do the black line on the helmet and not leave it blank. Yeah, that one has like a maroon line. Yeah, yeah. I think it looks pretty good. If I see one, I'll grab it. And this was the one. This is my favorite. So I took the uh, Echo body and I took that Jet Trooper, the gaming grades Jet Trooper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. That works That's a cool out. idea. I don't have a lot of clones. I'm not really a, a I'm not, it's not that I don't yeah. like, I'm just, I like Imperial stuff. I just like the clean white troopers. Yeah. With the red on the helmet, he's almost fives. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I wish they would utilize this body more because this guy. Oh, yeah. great. Body I, did, I took the visor off him and I did a couple. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. That's yeah, the black black figures are really good. It's the same. Yeah, that's a good. This is my favorite one of 2020, easily. Yeah. yeah. What do you got there, David? What is that? You got this one, Jeremy? No, is that is that McFarlane? What is that? No, it's Marvel Legends Swamp oh. Thing or whatever. Uh, it was a build, it was build a figure. It was a build a figure from a couple of years back when I think with the Daredevil, like the Netflix Daredevil wave, and I think there was oh. I can't remember Punisher or some other figures. Wow, no, I've never oh, actually anyways, seen that. That's really cool. Uh, it's, it's a cool huge. figure, and I I just uh, it's a uh, little teaser for people who are watching Disney Plus this weekend. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, awesome. People were quite excited to see that uh, cameo. <laughs> Did you watch that? The the the, the I don't. I don't. I shouldn't. It's a spoiler warning, but I guess nah, I just. I, I just watched. Yeah, I didn't watch. I, what, she Hulk lost me after a couple episodes. Oh no, so. not she. Not She Hulk. Daredevil. Yeah, this is a uh, watch. The show Werewolf by Night. They just put it out. For oh Halloween. no, I haven't watched that yet. I am going to watch I that. Just, I watched, watched it about an hour ago before I put it on the stream. And uh, okay, I heard it's pretty, pretty good. Did you? It's enjoy only it? an hour long. It's fun. It's, it's okay. kind of a fun thing. Yeah, I heard it's I'm, kind of like a like a dark like a horror story, right? Yeah, it's a monster hunter type story. Okay. Hmm. So, I'm so behind on anything Marvel. It's not even it's, funny. It's a standalone entertainment piece. It's just it's for Halloween. So you can watch it just and not and have to know anything, you know. Okay. It's just a, yeah, it's not a series it or a show. But yeah, I, I watched it tonight. It was fun. 
Nice. I am watching She-Hulk, by the way, and I, I enjoy it um, for what it is. And the last episode was a lot of fun, which finally had Daredevil in it. So mm -hmm. that was fun. Cool. I haven't watched that either. Yeah. I've just been watching Andor. Andor's good. I, I like it. I'm, I'm with you. It's a slow build, right? It's, it's, yeah. it's got character development. It's got... Mm -hmm. That's... Yeah. I'm kind of, I'm kind of having. I mean, not, I don't care about spoilers or anything, but I'm kind of waiting until the whole season is done, and I'm, just, I want to watch the whole thing right through. Mm -hmm. Oh, kind of been spoiled that way. Like I don't like waiting, you know, every week. Right. Oh. Even Mando, Mando was hard to wait for every week. So, but I'm gonna yeah. watch it. Has there been any, um, any clone troopers show up yet? Like the Phase Two guys? Not yet. Okay. Not and yet. Either? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we haven't. Even are they doing 12? Is it 8 or 12 episodes? 12. 12? Okay. 12. Yeah, I'll check it's it out. A lot of dialogue. Yeah. Um, not very much action. Not much action at all, really. Um, just a lot of just deep, well-written dialogue. Yeah. And well, some after, after oh. the lack of... L yeah. Lack of uh, kind of dialogue and script <laughs> and build up for Kenobi and Book of Boba Fett. That's okay. Yeah, I think yeah. they needed to go in that direction. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. that's why I'm enjoying it so much because yeah. Kenobi was so fast. Yeah, and and Mando really dark at times, like really hard to see. A lot of that was oh, so hard to see. So poorly. Yeah, yeah, the cinematography. I'm not sure what they were going for, but you couldn't see anything. It felt very rushed. It's like they had a, a time constraint. It had to be done by a certain time and put it out. And yeah, that's why I was like, I, they're talking about maybe doing another season of it. I'm like, no, I don't think so. I don't think anybody's yeah. clamoring for that. Not to run out of time. I don't know what they would do. Yeah. Before yeah. it runs into a new hope. Yeah. Uh, that book of Boba Fett felt rushed. Just yeah. You know. Well, and that's the thing that's been really, I don't know, like kind of disappointing for me is I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed Mando season one and most of season two. And mm -hmm. now we're waiting so long for season three because they're trying to put these other stuff, you know, the other mm -hmm. shows in. And I'm like, I think they need to kind of the bread and butter was Mando. I think they should stick with that. Yeah. Yeah. I am excited for tales of the Jedi though. Yeah. Yeah. That, that looks, good. looks good. Coming out the end of this month. I'm really looking forward to that one. Yeah. Let me ask you guys. Cause I don't, I don't know like how much or how big a clone wars fans you are. How, how much did you enjoy the bad batch? I liked it. Did you? There were a few episodes for me that were kind of duds, but for the most part, I did enjoy it. Okay. I thought it was well written. You became a slightly more attached to quite a few of them, I think. Mm -hmm. or, or at least I did. Yeah. It was only I, for me just one or two episodes that I just didn't like, but for the most part, I, I really loved it. Okay. I would yeah. say that I would give it a B and I, I enjoyed it and I looked forward to watching the new episode and not mm -hmm. every episode was great, but mm -hmm. like, like Matt said, I, I, I grew to like the characters and when the figures came out, I was like, yeah, I'm buying these figures because the characters are cool. I, I knew enough about them. Yeah. So yeah, that was, I, I'm looking forward to the next season. I'd like to see more. Yeah. Um, would you have rather seen that show be a movie than versus a series? Could have been, I suppose. <laughs> What sixteen episodes at about twenty five minutes each? So they did like maybe a yeah. two two and a half hour movie. Quite a few of those episodes were purely filler. Yeah, that's they what I mean. They could have skipped some of that. Really story. didn't move the story along. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it it could have worked. I guess I'm kind of like I I miss like a Star Wars film. Like I want to I want to sit down and watch it for a couple hours versus you know thirty minutes bite size. Here and I there, kinda, I, yeah. yeah. I miss the movies, and I'm kind of like, I, there's nothing on the horizon. There's nothing coming for a while that we know of. I uh, I downloaded that uh, Patterson edit of Kenobi. Have you guys heard of this? Mm -hmm. And it's a guy who re-edited the whole Disney Plus series and cut out a third yeah. of it or whatever he did to to. And I I had to shut it off because I had something to do. But we were watching it for like an hour plus into it, really mm -hmm. enjoying it, like you know, yeah. as an extended. Mm. viewing experience i heard retro blasting talk about that a little bit i watched and the I, same video that's yeah i watched retro blastings yeah. and i and just to, to speak to arthur's comments that's what i heard a lot of kids like the bad batch especially yeah. with like you know wrecker and you know um you know so it was probably a lot geared towards younger viewers yeah yeah the main per, main character is is, is omega so, so she's you know she's a little yeah. little kid so yeah yeah which would be a perfect opportunity to do a young boba fett on that body yes yeah <laughs> yeah yep. 
That is true. The question is, what is, yeah. What's up, guys? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I miss it. I miss. I mean, I don't. I guess I don't so much miss going to the movie theater just because it's so expensive nowadays. Yeah, don't go to the movies. Oh man, but I just miss like sitting down and watching a film and just you know getting yeah. immersed in it, and being able to rewatch you know like a, a feature length film. Yeah. So and I'll watch. I'll put on Rogue One and I'll. I mean, I won't watch the whole thing through, but I'll kind of you know I'll, I'll stick it on and watch most of it. Yeah, same here. I mean, Rogue One is one of my favorites, and I think that's why I'm liking Andor so much, just because I like Cassian. Yeah, As a and I like the second half of Rogue One a lot, you know, more than the first half. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of build up, but yeah. yeah, I actually did not like Rogue One when I watched it in the theater. I was I was like mad because really? it did, it didn't have enough lightsabers for me or yeah. music or didn't Hero. have the opening scroll. You know, it didn't have the the words going. Like it, was, it wasn't Star Wars enough for me, even though it was a great movie. <laughs> yeah, I came I took, around. I took yeah. my brother in law, and he was he's more of like a casual kind of Star Wars fan. He didn't like it either. And I was like, what do you mean? That was a war <laughs> film. That was a Star Wars film. He's yeah. like, nah, man. He's like, nah, it was boring. It was, nah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll get repaints, I'm sure. Because oh, yeah. yeah. there yeah. are different They're going to re reuse those molds as much as they can. I, yeah. I I started to build that team out, and I got about halfway through it, and I'm like, no, I think I'm good. I didn't even buy a Wrecker. I only have Tech. He was my favorite. Really? Tech's yeah. a great figure. Yeah. Cross, crosshair is a great figure i i yeah. like crosshair imperial crosshair is actually awesome i love that yeah. yeah yeah the articulation you could get him right oh, up yeah. here i mean it's beautiful yeah i love that they're all troopers i think that's a, a great angle that yeah. they took there with that story yeah so but being the only line i collect yeah i'll i'll get the new bad batch figures for sure yeah for sure oh, yeah well, and you got, I mean, looking at your collection back there, you you got a whole world built and you got different eras. I, I love that. That's, yeah, that's what it looks great when you have just all the different, you know, properties yeah. and movies. It looks great. They're all in chronological order. Yeah. The, no, uh, the the show you I just did. I just have oh. my original trilogy back there. Just real, oh. real, real simple. <laughs> hey, it looks good. Yeah. I like what's. Is that the Death Watch Mando there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the Hot Toys. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with them yet. But that's Good. a um, that little – this is from Tatooine. I got this off of a guy on uh, Instagram called Badger Dio. He does some really mm. cool dioramas. Ah. Uh, so it's just cool. like a Tatooine. But, yeah, I just have, like, you know, original trilogy and some Mando stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, I really condensed it down quite a bit. Hey. Yeah. Oh, okay. But the thing with this, though, having it in chronological order, mm -hmm. it's like if I get something from Clone Wars yeah. or prequels, I have to move all these down. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's a lot of moving around. Yeah. Well, Arthur right. brought that up earlier, how there's just so many figures now. The line is so big. It's hard to mm -hmm. keep collecting everything. It really that's is so true. You kind of have to pick and choose yeah. what you're going to go with. And that's why I take my hat off to you, Matt. You're, you know, you're kind of going all in with everything. And it's like, Man, I'd love to do that. If I didn't have kids, I'd probably be buying everything. <laughs> yeah, see, my kids are grown, so. Right, yeah. <laughs> They're all grown up. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I I don't know. There have been several times where I've almost pulled the trigger on a G.I. Joe or a Marvel Legends <laughs> or, you know. But I, I just tell myself, no, 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 do not start. Just stick with yeah. this. Yeah. Well, see, in the the during the pandemic, that was one of the worst things for me was being stuck at home, and they started sending us stimulus money, and yeah. I was bored. We couldn't go on vacation, and I just yeah. Amazon was my best and worst friend. <laughs> yep, yep. And that's when I started collecting was in June of 2020. Oh, there you really? Go. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I specifically my my daughter was you know uh, born in March when kind of everything started to shut down, and okay. I remember the last time I kind of found anything was I found this guy at Best Buy. He was the only one there sitting on the shelf. And uh, that's kind of like my, my highlight memory other than her being born was finding that's this. Cool. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. But yeah, that's so, cool. So, yeah, Black Series is embracing EU now, and there seems to be Kodar fingers coming, and Jan Solo is a nice figure. Yeah. So I don't know much about Knights of the Republic. Um, it wasn't I, I don't either, to be honest. I never the game honestly i probably should yeah 
The characters look cool. And people still seem to be yeah excited. I just yeah. yeah. I mean, Darth Malak and Bastilla Shan would both make killer figures, but I just don't know much about their story. Yeah. Yeah. See, and I wish that they would kind of, um, with the Black Series, I wish they would kind of designate, like, if we're going to have, like, gaming greats, you know, we obviously kind of, they're, they're focused on the games mostly, mm -hmm. and, you know, they try to reuse where they can. Yeah. But it's like, I kind of wish that maybe, you know, just kind of split up the line. It's like, okay, if you want to have an original trilogy over here, you want to have game stuff here. You want to have current media and property here, so yeah, yeah. GI Joe will suck you, and I I've got six <laughs> figures now, and, you know, just like, uh, but I'm like, I think I'm I think I'm done. I think after this, I'm I'm not really. I looked at a lot of the new stuff, and it's kind of like, I mean, you could you could fall into it, you know. You could army build, you know, like this guy's pretty cool. This is a great army builder, but it's like, yeah, I don't need a bunch of them. I mean, one is good, and that's mm -hmm. it. Cool. I've yeah, got three of the bats. <laughs> yeah. See, and that's why I'm, I've been close a couple times. Yeah. A lot of, especially Dorkside's been putting them on sale, and I'm like, mm, no, I don't need any more. I got yeah. I got my favorites. <laughs> yeah. So Titter says so, more Jabba's Palace aliens. Yeah, we're with you, you man. Get, you get fun stuff like this. I mean, for 20 bucks, it's like, this guy's kind of like my pocket, like, daily figure. You know? Really? You like, you? it's the Ben Riley one, right? Is it, yeah. I just love this buck. It's very posable. Yeah. And even, um, so the amazing, yeah, the amazing fantasy one that they just did. It's great. I love the pinless, but it's still the 2020 body is still, still superior in my opinion. Yeah. Just for fun factor. A lot of the legend stuff is just fun to play with. That's kind of why it sucked me in. Yeah. Yeah. They look way more posable than black series. Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of what they do. You know, they, a lot of their characters have to be very nimble and, and articulate it. Oh, the selfie thing. Yeah, we were going to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, let's talk selfie series for a little bit. Um, yeah, if you're in the chat, let us know if you ordered one. And if anyone yeah. has one in hand, that'd be if you were at Comic Con or something and got one. Yeah. Um, yeah. I uh, I ordered one. So, yeah. you know, I, I know I was goofing around on Instagram. I was posting silly That's pictures funny. and stuff. That was, fun. That was funny. That was real funny. I, I tried the Bosk mask just to see if it would if it would recognize anything <laughs> that wasn't human. It's it's not yeah. you know it's it's, yeah. it's programmed for facial re face recognition obviously. So yeah, but uh, I did I did kind of a happy open mouth pose like I, like that kind of is what I ordered you know a big big goofy smile. Nice. Let's see what happens. Mm. Um, did they say did, would they give you like an ETA is when you should expect it? They say forty five days whenever that is. So oh wow! That's, that's not bad. You probably have it by Christmas. Um, so here, so I did. Hang on. That's oh, nice. to be me. I I've seen a lot that look just like this. Mm -hmm. They all look the same. I mean, I don't. I mean, yeah, he's bald with a goatee, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna pass on it. How much? So, what was the final retail cost, David, with like tax and shipping and everything? What did it cost you? Well, it's a six. It was sixty dollars during PulseCon. It's supposed to go up to eighty, yeah. and then taxes would be five or six bucks for me in Massachusetts. Um, oh, dang. We have we have high taxes up here, so. Um, okay. But I have the premium membership with Pulse, so it wasn't shipping was free for me. Mm -hmm. So I think it was like sixty six or sixty seven bucks or something like that. Um, yeah, I ordered the one on the X Wing body. Okay. okay. So, so I wonder. Nice I'm curious way. once you get it if it's going to be the um like the snow speeder body, the updated one with the no. Is it the old? It's the old one. It's, it's, it's Luke. It's a oh, yeah. Man. I did a I did a video on my channel. If you guys haven't seen it, look up the selfie series on my channel because I got to I met Emily at ChrisCon and held her selfie oh, figures yeah. in hand. Oh, yeah. I watched and, that. Yeah, I watched yeah. that. I did see um, that. So it's just the Jedi Luke, the orange line Luke body. You know, it's the oldest, one of the, one of the simplest bodies there is out there. Bodies they did. Real, yeah, really short. You know, so it's it's going to be horrible for me. But that's that was the body that I wanted. You know, but I'm a big guy. Like I'm six three. I'm a big guy, like three hundred pounds, six three. So I, there's no way that it's going to look like me body wise. Yeah. But we'll see. You know, it be it would have been cool if they would have given you the option if you wanted to do the. Um... What's the Target exclusive uh, pilot that they just did? Uh, yeah, that was, 
What was that? Merrick? Oh, the, yeah. yeah. The blue. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, think it'd be cool if they would have given you that option to do orange or do his his flight suit. Hmm. This guy. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, if they would have given me that body, I might have thought about it. The thing is, uh, Ben Daniels, the guy that played Antoc, is about six feet tall. Okay. Is he? It's like five eight, five nine. So yeah, Ben, yeah, that character, he's he's way too short. Yeah. Yeah. When I've heard too that the the head that they're going to use, so it's going to be 3D printed. It's not going to be like plastic. It's going to be more like a resin. So you may not be able to head swap it, which is that's kind of what turned me off to it. Yeah. So um, you can head swap them. You know, you can pop them off. It has a just a ball. Mm -hmm. um, but Emily again from TVC team told me, you know, she said, and it's not official or anything, and I haven't seen this in writing. But yeah. the way she phrased it to me was. We are probably going to caution people against head swaps because yeah. the brittleness of the resin is mm -hmm. there's a chance of if you pop it on and off too many times, you might crack it around the neck, you know, around the peg hole or something. Yeah. Um, and what really is gonna be a problem if someone tries to force it onto a, a neck peg that's a little bit bigger, it, it's not, you know, you're gonna you could split it, you know. Shatter. Yeah. 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 Um, the resin is supposed to be a real tough resin that has a lot of resiliency and, and some plasticity to it. Um, mm -hmm. Like when I felt it, it didn't feel like a hard resin, like a 3D printed resin head. Because I've bought those from custom, you know, from and I, I know what those feel like. And this felt more plasticky than that. Yeah. Um, but still, it's it's resin. It's not injected PVC. So interesting. OK, yeah, yeah. that's what I was, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, that's kind of what turned me off to it because I like I love one of my favorite things is kit bash and head swapping and that's kind of like and I wanted to do like a you know like maybe do the rock or do like you know some like I want to do like a, a funny like expression kind of like the um remember the Paul Rudd Ant Man they did a couple years ago where he had like the yeah. smurf I wanted mm. to see something like that and I was like I don't think that the main um, programmer they're using just yet I don't think it's I don't think it's quite there yet I don't think they've perfected it yet well so. Here's my other thoughts on this because I do have I do have quite a few thoughts on the selfie series. I'm 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 wondering, the app is fairly straightforward. Like yeah, everybody's picture, like you just held up on your phone, Matt. Mm -hmm. Everybody's yeah. picture looks the same because the the head is the same buck head, and they're mm -hmm. mapping that imagery onto it. But right. I'm hope I I don't know if this is true or not. But if when they 3D print it, I'm hoping the buck is actually sculpted to the face. You know, like if you have a skinny head, you're going to get a skinnier head. Or yeah. a fat head, you're gonna get a fatter yeah. head. I don't know if that's true now. We'll have to see when we compare them side by side. Does everybody have the exact same human head with just yeah. a different face paint, yeah. or or is the sculpt actually like a 3D printing program is going to take that render and are they actually going to to map it onto the buck and change the width of the cheeks or the length or whatever? Is it going to have proportions that match yeah. the scan, or are they kind of trying to? force a scan onto a standard buck that's the main yeah. thing i think yeah and, and we don't really know yet you know that's a very good point because yeah not everyone's head is shaped the same so yeah but in the I app think... it shows you like your head is shaped like everybody else and so that's why people aren't liking what they're seeing in the app yeah. you know and see and that's yeah. why i'm kind of i'm kind of like a, a wait and see like i want to see what yours looks like i want to see what they kind of look like once they're rolling out and then i may do one maybe next year we'll see how long they do the program yeah <laughs> Darth Kennedy. That's funny. Ridley. <laughs> that would be a peg warmer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe one that people uh, customize in a not so nice way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No helmets with the helmeted figures. I, yeah. I just... What? That's weird. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So what happens with, um, so can you do the stormtrooper? as uh... yes, you could probably take the, yeah. You had Han or Luke in stormtrooper disguise. Those helmets are a little bit bigger. So if you get a stormtrooper body, you don't get a helmet with it? Yeah, no oh, helmet. No. What in the world? Yeah, see, that's not right. For that price point, they're tripping. I can't. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> now, like I said in my video, it could be just that, you know, only people with really short hair would be able to wear that helmet. So maybe they say, yeah, well, let's not give people something they can't put on their figure. Maybe. I don't know. But well, yeah. I guess maybe if you have, if you bought the, the uh, George Lucas stormtrooper disguise, maybe you can use that helmet. Yeah. Well, I mean, I get tons of stormtrooper heads I can put up. Yeah. yeah. You can, you can pose him with like holding the helmet under his arm, you know, or under your arm yeah. or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or yeah. even, um, yeah. 
Yeah. What's uh remember um the Din Djarin that came with the removable Mando helmet? I mean, I guess you could yeah. do that too. Yeah. Yeah. Um the other thing it is kind of seems like oh yeah. Like like you're not gonna get any figures with flesh tone hands because though they could 3D print a set of hands out of yeah. the same flesh tone they use on the head so it would match. Mm -hmm. Those fingers would snap. The thumb would snap. Whatever you know, if you as soon as you try to put a weapon in or whatever, so then you're gonna have a bunch of broken hands. So so instead, they're giving every. They're only using bodies that have gloves. Yeah, that's every, right. you know. David, let so, me ask you something because you you have boys that are kind of older and then you know play with action figures and stuff. My my son's not quite there yet. Were your kids were interested in this? Did they want to do one? I scanned my son. I did mm -hmm. my 11 year old son, and he loved it. He did a okay. Spider Man. We okay. we didn't. We didn't pull the trigger. We didn't order it, okay. but he his actually looked better than mine did. And you know he's he's eleven, so his head's more you know he's not so he's still very kid like in ways. You know he's right. kind of rounder head. He just right, seemed right. to it seemed to fit the the software better. Like it looked better in the app. Huh, and okay. I mean I I probably could have ordered that. I don't know what do they they say it's only for sixteen and up. But I mean what mm -hmm. do they know? You know like yeah, yeah. You know, the, you're show your. So. Some kind of they'll be idea. they'll be happy to take your money i'm sure <laughs> exactly yeah yeah so yeah he, he he looked pretty good on it and they would have yeah do, would, is it something he wants i don't know not really he's not really asking for it he thought it was kind of cool when he saw his picture on the on the spider-man body in the app yeah because they were kind of marketing it like it was like kids are like oh yeah you can make your own action figure and it's like no i think it's more aimed at us it's kind of our <laughs> age demographic <laughs> but no jedi options no, right. which no, I thought no, was no. kind of weird. I mean, I again, like you said, they'd have to do the hands. Yeah. So the best thing you can do here is you can you can get the selfie figure and you get the head and then you customize it. And you put it on a body that you want, yeah. and you just got to be careful with the head peg that you don't crack the head sculpt. So you use mm -hmm. putty. You just have something. to warm it up, heat it up. Well, I don't know if that's going to work though. Warming it up might not work with the resin, you know, because that, oh, that works with true. plastic, but it's not guaranteed to work with the resin. That's yeah, true. Um, well, I was thinking more if you warmed up the pin you were trying to put it on. Yeah, yeah you're right. That may not work. But you might you might have to shave down the the neck peg, make it a little yeah. smaller, so it doesn't. So when you put that on, it doesn't doesn't break yeah. it. Yeah. I um, feel like they're kind of testing the water still. They want to see how the response is going to be to this. And then yeah, next maybe. year, if it's still a thing, we'll you know we'll see how far it goes. I think they should do a Darth Vader body. I think you know give us <laughs> absolutely that's It'd fully suited, and I think that'd be fun. Give us a helmet yeah. that goes with it, even if you can't wear of, it. I think a lot of people would order that. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, I, I think it's it's a fun idea. I didn't like that they jumped the price 20 bucks to, right no, right before PulseCon. Yeah. That, that was they, they got it from day one, but you know, a lot I know a lot of people are. Yeah. I know, yeah. So people who ordered it at SDCC, which was the third week of July, now mm -hmm. have them in hand. They've been showing up this week. So I think we'll see a lot of those videos on YouTube, even this weekend. Probably people, com you know, comparing them. So I'm looking forward to seeing some of that. See what it looks like. Yeah. But you know, they they some of the sample selfie series they had people with open mouth, smiling expressions. Right. You know, like you know, doing that. So that's yeah. a different sculpt. That's not a standard buck they, they actually sculpted it in the 3d program and yeah. made it an open mouth sculpt so that kind of lends it to that idea that it's it's not going to look like what it looks like in the app you know yeah yeah that's true yeah, yeah. we'll see we'll see what it looks like i'm kind of curious yeah. i probably yeah. won't buy one though i i just i still feel like it's expensive it is and it's it's totally a vanity thing it's a it's a gimmick you know kind yeah. of a novelty item yeah, it's not. Well, I feel like they're trying to kind of tap into the custom market. They see what that looks yeah. like. You know, they see a lot of people do that, especially you see some of the customizers out there, especially a lot of the ones that uh, Robo talks about on the Foosh when he does like his play day. And, and some of them are doing amazing work. Like the sculpts are unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Rebel Town Customs is a really good one. Mm. Yeah, I've seen some of his stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool. Vader Joe says, yeah, still $60. Okay. I wasn't sure if they. You know, put the price back up. Yeah, I think people a lot. They heard a lot of feedback when people were like, "Wait a minute, people, people at SNCC paid sixty, and now you want eighty? Come on!" Yeah, yeah. they're tripping. Yeah, that's right. Tripping I love a lot of I ways. love that Matt just said that. That's awesome. <laughs> it's true. It yeah. is it's craziness. Mm. But 
Well, now I'm thinking, so let me ask you guys this. So now that we've had PulseCon and I really, I didn't really hear about anything being shown at New York Comic Con, which I'm not, you know, surprised about. I don't think there's anything that we're going to hear about as far as new figures. Like they, you know, usually they were doing like the live streams every couple months. I mean, I don't think we're going to see anything until the new year at this point. I don't, I don't see November or December yeah. having anything for us. Not. I mean, here it is October. Yeah. Did, did they do like a collector reveal last fall? I can't remember if there's something that happens in November. Like every Friday, there's a figure revealed. I think they did something like that last year. With well, remember they were they were doing it for the Book of Boba Fett. Like there was like a whole yeah. bunch of, like, when the show was going. Maybe that on. was in this. Maybe that was in January. I can't remember when. Yeah. Show yeah. Like every week there, and it wasn't always yeah. Black Series. It was like TVC, and then they do Funko. Yeah. And, yeah. They were doing Mando Mondays for a while. Yeah. Yep. So maybe they'll have another program like that. Um, yeah. But I mean, Andor is going to go on for a while. If there's 12 episodes, I mean, it's going to go pretty much, you know, almost to the end of the year. Like yeah. Five episodes in. So yeah, that's seven more weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No, there's that's a lot of good. characters they could do Andor. <laughs> is there anything you guys have pre-ordered that's on the horizon or that's going to be shipping soon? Or you hope it's shipping soon? I've got the retro lizard Marvel Legends coming in on Monday. So oh nice. Out. I'm looking for I had to that, that pre ordered and I was I was I was like, oh, I don't know. And now I'm kind of regretting not not keeping mm. it. <laughs> I, I I'm I like that line with the card backs like that, and I think the yeah. lizard looks looks fun, so he's yeah. coming in. I, I have built out. I've been working on my Marvel Legends uh, Spider Man villains. That's kind of like the rogue gallery. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I've got the rest of the Kenobi wave I'm waiting on. Um the Target exclusive Obi Wan. Entertainment Earth says Axe Wolves is supposed to come in October, which that'd be great mm -hmm. if he does. Oh, that's I, soon. Yeah. Forgot to show you guys this guy. I also got Bagman. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> this this is actually a pretty fun figure. I mean, it's that's uh, that's pretty awesome. It's I well like the done. the kids me sign too on the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does the bag come off? No, it doesn't. It's no. sculpted on, but it has a it has photo real eyes behind the. Oh. The bag hole, so it, I can it, see it people good. doing some funny, some funny pictures with that. Some type, yeah, type of photography. Swap that yeah. head. Yeah, maybe maybe people should put that on their selfie figure when they get it. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Let me ask you guys something. So a lot of people, I was reading a lot of the comments, and uh, I think even like Landspeeder Luke was one of the ones who was clamoring for this. He says that they should do. They need to re-sculpt this guy and make a new one. What do you guys think? A lot of people think this is outdated and old and it needs to be redone. If any person oh good, Matt. Yeah. The arms don't go up. True. Yeah, the armor gets in the way. And there's no head tilt. But it's got amazing elbows. Yeah. Yeah, the elbows are great. Good. Yeah, you don't get a lot of that uh figures that can, you know, yeah, that can do that. I mean I mean, he's definitely he's for how old he is. He holds up pretty well. There yeah, are some things that are outdated now with you know today's yeah technology, but you know I, the I, to, I personally think he's fine. I I like him so. Yeah. yeah, I would say if anything, because of he obviously you know needing to sit on the bike, they mm -hmm. can maybe do something here because he has a hard time. Like I actually took I took the pouches off just to get oh, a yeah. little bit more range. Or yeah. But yeah, it's uh I mean there's there's good and bad. I mean gosh, he's you know what, 8 years old now. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, old, I love this figure. Yeah, old mold. Yeah. Titter wants to know if anyone ordered the black arena suit Boba uh, Fett. No. no. No, especially cuz it was on the old body. I passed on yep. that one. If it was yeah. the new new body then I might have considered it. But Yeah. And I know they were trying to go accurate, you know, with the source material, but I was like, no, I don't need an all black Boba. Um, for yeah. the time and still being, you know, like right around Empire, kind of makes sense to use the Empire mold, but this is not a yeah. great box. I've still got one of these in box just because I like the packaging. Oh, yeah. Nice. I've got one. I've got one of those too. Yep. That's the only carbonized I have. <laughs> yeah, the carbonized Scout Trooper is the only carbonized figure I have. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good I got yeah. one of those for seven bucks at Target and I picked it up because I yeah, love the Scout Troopers. Too. You can't yeah. beat that. Nice. 
And actually, being carbonized, he actually looks good with the other figures. He's not overly, you know, shiny. Yeah, yeah. I think he looks great. Yeah, but as far as that body, it's kind of half and half. He's got he's got good elbows, uh, but not good shoulders. You know what I did do? Since we don't have a uh, vehicle, or we don't have a we don't have an Imperial Tie Fighter, we have a Tie Fighter in the Black Series. Mm. I put the Tie Pilot on the Shadow Bike. <laughs> and he works pretty good. I mean, considering you know he's not really supposed to sit down, but yeah, I had the scout have... trooper, the shadow scout trooper that went with this, but I sold it. Oh, you sold the trooper? That's yeah. too bad. Why'd you sell the trooper? A friend of mine yeah. really wanted it, and I was yeah. like, I caved, and then I regretted it, and I still regret it. <laughs> I still like that two pack. That's that's a neat set. Um, yeah, I bought it loose from somebody in one of the Facebook groups years ago. Yeah, mm. I have the, I think the Shadow I, Stormtrooper though. I love that one. Yeah, I think I paid like sixty-five bucks for that set. Loose it was awesome. Not bad. See, and that, and that, yeah. and that's a perfect example. That retailed, I believe, if I want to say for forty-five, fifty bucks, I think tar at Target. Yeah. And you got yeah. two figures and a bike, and you got a bunch right. of weapons with it. And it's like, man. Yeah. And that was early on. I mean, that was a reuse. You know, that was reuse done well, and it was a deep cut because a lot of people were like, "Where is this from?" <laughs> yeah. It's still like one ninety nine on Amazon right now. It's crazy. The shadow. And you know what's interesting is in that box set is is the it's the docking bay inside the Death Star with the Falcon in the background, which I'm like, okay, I guess that doesn't make sense. But <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't realize yeah. that's what the background. That's the was. only time they've ever done that. Even when you got yeah. the the blue line Jabba the Hut in the box, it was just a black box. There was nothing. Yeah. Behind it. Yeah. Right. So. It's weird. They do stuff and they try things and then they never do it again. So I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. true. Very true. Yeah, but that I I don't know. I know that that value is at two hundred dollars, but I would never pay two hundred dollars for that stuff. No. I just couldn't couldn't do it. I don't have to have it that bad. No, I take a black storm. I take a stormtrooper and paint it black first before he did that. <laughs> yeah, you buy seven or eight figures for two hundred bucks. Oh man, you can buy a whole case. <laughs> I think. I think yep. we're gonna get another Java next year. I, I think they'd be really stupid not to release another Java, but yeah, again, they might be really stupid. So, but <laughs> hey, I could see it being like a sixty dollars Java with uh, Salacious Crumb. I could see them doing that. Uh, I think it'd be more than sixty, though. That's yeah. Well, what, what was the original Java? What did he retail for? Thirty, forty bucks? I think it was forty. Yeah, mm. I think 40. I, that thing yeah. sat around in Target for so long. I walked by yeah. it so many times. So yeah, you're probably right. It may be more than that. If they're charging sixty-seven dollars for two and a half figures, <laughs> they're smart. They'll, they'll release it with a platform with the throne. You know, yes, and that that would everybody wants that. You know, oh, yeah. So, yeah. But you know, better paint, better eyes. I'm sure it would look great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and for how old he was, the fact that they, you know, like you move the arm and the mouth opens. I mean, it was pretty cool for what it was. Mm. And I was, yeah. obviously, they were still trying stuff at that point. That's mm -hmm. why I'm like a lot of the character selections were were cool, were interesting, but it was kind of all over the place. Yeah, yeah. So, and Slave Leia, that'll never happen again. As much as people are clamoring for that, that'll never. Uh, happen. Disney won't allow that. No, I mean not even if they change the name to Job the Prisoner, they still probably won't do that figure again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you got you got Bausch Leia. I guess we have to just be happy with that. <laughs> yeah, which that's one that I'm probably going to grab at some point. Yeah. Yeah, that's a one. good that's a good archive yeah. figure. And that can just fit yeah. in if you want to just have it be a bounty hunter in the background. Bounty hunter, you're right. Yeah. And apparently they fixed the height in the legs. Really? On, I on, saw that. But now the arms look too long. <laughs> Did you see that? Now the arms hang down like a gorilla, like because they, they cut like an eighth of an inch off the thigh or something. They fixed, fixed something and broke something else. <laughs> I had to look at the pictures again. Yeah. Yes. Someone had a post on that how the arms just looked way too long now. Uh, but yeah. overall, the figure being shorter is a good thing because yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. the original was way too tall. Yeah. 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 It's funny. Yep. Yeah, they do love that old boa body, which is interesting too because. Oh, many times. I don't know why. I know. I know why they did it. They did the all white prototype armor and they put it in the Empire packaging, but it's like that was. That wasn't in the film. It's like, and eh. <laughs> yeah, too. yeah, that one too. And they did the archive version, and they did the carbonized version, and it's like, man, they pumped as many as they could out of that thing. 
And even yeah. the original, the original box set, the exclusive from 2013. Yeah. So that, that figure has been, he's seen his mileage. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. time, something like that. Yeah. I need to retire that one already. That's like the Bucky cap. <laughs> I don't know why we haven't seen the Return of the Jedi mold reissued yet. And, you know, they got that new mold, you know, from the deluxe figure. Why, well, they're going to put they it haven't... on the... They're going to put it on a 40th card back. I think it's going to be a... Um, yeah, you're probably right. It'll, it'll probably be yeah. a retailer exclusive. It'll probably be a fan channel, I think. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But I don't think it'll... It don't have as many uh, accessories as the Deluxe. They, oh, they, they, did they show a render of that or an image at one of the streams? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. So, and they also did... Admiral Akbar is going to be on a card back that's like um, like holographic almost. The I think oil face Mike. or something. Yeah. yeah. Somebody yeah. leaked that. I saw that somewhere. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. That's what makes me think that they're probably going to do. Um, was it Tebow? Mm. That was in the. Yeah, they're probably going to put some. I feel like they're going to give some retailer exclusives on card backs to yeah. kind of to make people chase after them. You know, to make it yeah. more interesting. I just hope they. I hope they make the cardboard thick enough so it doesn't get all trashed in the mail. Yeah, I'd I'd love yeah. to see them reissue that Amazon exclusive Emperor Palpatine deluxe set with the throne. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh man, that thing sat around. I saw it go down to as much as like 25, 30 bucks on Amazon. Oh wow. Oh yeah. They couldn't give those away and now they're 200 bucks. It's crazy. Yes. Yeah, the aftermarket is Yeah, carded deluxe. Yeah. But I don't Brian, I don't think he's going to have all the like the flame effects. I mean, unless it's hidden behind the figure, I I don't think it'll be as deluxe as the as the original um, release was yeah. last year. Probably not. I've got the archive. But we'll see. From GameStop, still waiting okay. on it, but it's just a cane. You, know, you just get the cane, not even a swap. Oh board. yeah, it's just a cane. Oh yeah. But I want a Palpatine on the shelf of some, you know, some form or another. So I'm fine yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah. I, re I, I kind of, I sold that set, and I kind of regret it. But then again, mm -hmm. it, you know, it, I used the money to get other stuff. So. <laughs> yeah. Was Lobot? Was Lobot? shown in the pipeline i don't remember that so so he um, was he was and, i think he was part of the fan vote he was one of the options for the fan okay. vote. And everybody voted for a new uh dagobah luke instead okay and i yeah. think lobot was like second or third he was right up there and so but i mean tbc got him but yet yeah. we haven't seen him in black series yet which is weird yeah, yeah. it is weird it's very weird yeah. Yeah. 40th of empire you know, it makes me wonder. It makes me wonder that they're redoing R two D two. I wonder if they're going to take another stab and make a uh, a more in scale IG eighty eight. Mm, that would be awesome. Yeah, that'll actually stand up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see. They can't sell as many of those though. They can no. sell a ton of astromech droids, you know, by repainting. Oh, yeah. And they can repaint. So, yeah. Exactly. yeah, I don't know. I'm, that would be nice. With the IG unit, but I'm just wondering. I mean, if they're, they're literally, you know, because next year's 10 years that the line's been around and they're going to start retooling and re sculpting original yeah. characters that they did, you know, from yeah. the, the early days. I mean, you know, that's honestly what kind of brought me back in. So it was end of 2018, 2019. I had taken a break from Black Series. Mm. And when they did the first archive wave, when it was Luke and Boba Fett and Bosk. That's what yeah. pulled me back in. I was like, okay, we're going to get a chance at some of the old stuff that I missed on. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, basically, Ugnot, yeah, they could use Quill's body and do that. I, I agree. Stick an apron on him. Yeah. That Chewbacca 3PO set with the, you know, with the limbs that come off, that's an awesome set. That's Wait, a that, great set. See, that's when, they, that's when it's like, okay, you put some thought into this, you know, and I, yeah. it's appreciated when they do that. Yeah. yeah. And, and, of course, yeah. having 3PO assembled, it's a great-looking 3PO. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I think so, it'd be cool. I'm probably alone here, but I think a I think a Bestman Cloud Car would be cool in Black Series. Huge. <laughs> yeah, it's not they a massive. It. Yeah, they could do it. Yeah, but then you're like, you know, what when when are we gonna get like if we got like a Slave One in Black Series, that would be massive, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's actually a very big ship. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it'd be cool though, and it could be. They would be desirable. You you're telling you as many Boba Fets as they do, that thing would sell. Ship. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the the TVC one. Like inside of it. Yeah. The TVC one is beautiful. That thing's awesome. Yeah. No, they need to focus on just things that can sit on a normal shelf, like things that yeah. can go on Matt's display behind you. You know? Hmm. Yeah. Small, yeah. simple things. I mean, 
Yeah. Like where, they should have reissued. Know, they should have yeah. brought back the Tauntauns a couple years ago. For Tauntaun. That yeah. yeah. Yeah, David, I've started to build some things out of styrofoam. Like, let's see, where am I? I'm right here. I built a little stand for the Night Brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To make it look like the rocks on uh, Dathomir. You can't really see. Uh, but yeah. I painted it brown and, and kind of did a wash over the whole thing, you know, to make it look dirty. And then I did the Yavin steps out of styrofoam. Yeah. So how do you like it? I mean, are you happy with it? It works. Yeah. It only works just to add a little bit of flavor to the display. You know, a little snowy stand up top for, for Hoth. I saw you, and you put the, the, the white spider set on some yeah. styrofoam there. We stand for that. That's cool. Yeah, That's how I started. I, I started with Jabba. I wanted to I cut a piece of styrofoam to make a Jabba display, you know, to make his uh, his stage there. His, and, yep. uh, you know, just try to painting it and yeah. it looked great you know so it's a pretty yeah, pretty versatile I've, I've got tons of styrofoam left over from from when we uh redid some insulation and some walls the guy that we had yeah uh, he was actually using styrofoam i was like that's a good idea that's a good insulator yeah styrofoam so, um you're talking um, like the white kind that's kind of has the popcorn -y, you know texture to it it's yes. you know kind of yeah, yeah that the get get some of the more dense foam from home depot the like the mm -hmm. pink or the green sheets it's a okay. finer that okay. will cut and carve much better because the styrofoam tends to break apart in chunks or it has that really popcorny look to it right. um you can you can get better i'm just just a tip you can get better um better sculpting and shape and more detail out of mm -hmm. the different kinds of foam okay. but yeah nothing beats a free piece of styrofoam that's laying around the house you know? no no stuff actually works pretty well that's true yeah. yeah. Did you Pretty did you guys see my Hoth or my uh, Mandalorian with the white spider, the Krikna spider shelf I posted a couple days ago? Yeah, uh, it, it was awesome. on Instagram, and it That's so awesome. I did the whole yeah, yeah like three three feet wide, but all and I had I think I had all the I had like eight or nine of the spiders in there. Looks Spider. great. Yeah, but all that is is white paper. It's just white craft paper. Crumple okay. it all up in a big ball and then open it up, and it gets all the you know oh, the texture the, the crinkles look kind of like snow or ice or rock um hmm. you do that with brown a brown paper bag too it's it's a real quick easy backdrop hmm. so, nice that's really yeah. cool that's cool i like that that's a great idea yeah. Oh, oh yeah oh that's I was awesome say, that's, uh, that's how i found your channel david i just i went in youtube one day and i typed in black series diorama and i started cool, watching it your works. videos yeah, it works. <laughs> yeah, the hot base, hot base does look really good. Yeah, that was my first big diorama that I did, and I did that as a contest in a Facebook group. It was a di it was that custom galaxy group that I'm in. Right. So they did a diorama contest, and uh, it 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 was cool. It was the first time I had done something that I kind of showed off publicly, and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. got me going. So, but how do you right. how do you like being in your uh, in your new setup down there in the man cave? It's horrible. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you guys here's a quick glimpse that you won't see on youtube but look at all these totes behind me see all oh, that yeah oh yeah i'm like back yet <laughs> i'm like surrounded by gross old wood paneling from the 80s and uh oh, no. <laughs> boxes of totes and stuff so are I, you I down are you downstairs are you up are you in the basement I, i'm downstairs in the basement oh, yeah okay. so i yeah. was upstairs in the bedroom and and uh, anyway, so I have a lot of work to do. It's not set up at all. I was gonna say it's gonna be cold down here in the winter time, man. <laughs> it it does get colder down here, which is one of the reasons we moved the. You know, we had uh, two of the boys sleeping down here, so we swapped mm -hmm. things around. Okay, but uh, yeah, it's even cold down here in the winter time. I can't imagine where you are. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> Boston. Hey, it was seventy five and sunny today. It was nice. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Good. That's perfect. Yeah, perfect weather. Well, guys, we should probably wrap this up. We've been going two hours. A yeah, lot, of, yeah. lot of fun. It does, doesn't any... feel like it. That's awesome. I know. It's a good two conversation. Yeah. Um, pretty, did, this was fun. You... Yeah, I could talk. I could talk to you guys for hours. Keep going. <laughs> no, it seemed it was good. This is our first time chatting. So I'd yeah. done one live stream with Jeremy before, and you two yeah. have done just the one live stream. Is that right? 
Yeah, we did. Yeah, about a, about a yeah. month or back in August, I think. Yeah. 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 Jeremy sent me some goodies. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. The car, right? Uh, yeah, that, was, that was fun. Got your yeah. Chewy. Go full screen, David. Oh, yeah. What's that? Go. There's your Chewy, right? Uh, the, the, chew, the Chewy, the Target exclusive from uh, Solo. Right there. Oh. Yeah. And of course, your car is back there. Nice. Yeah. You got a nice big office there. That's a great space you got there. It works okay. Yeah, this roof has gone through a lot of transformations over the last years. I mean, we've been in this house 20 years. Okay. But I think this is how it's going to stay. Yeah. See, and I'm to the point now where I'm like, do I want to do shelves? Because I, I just have, I have like these, um, these eight square, or these four square kind of, uh, I don't know yeah. what they're called, like uh, cubes, like cube organizers. Right. And you kind of outgrow those and, you know, the, Sometimes yep. when you use the darker ones, the figures kind of just get lost in the darkness. But yeah. I think I want to do something kind of like what you have, man. I like the, how that looks. My LED lighting so cheap. Yeah. It's not expensive at all. Yeah, I Matt, would... and that, that lighting is just around the closet entrance, right? It's behind the closet doors. Yeah. yeah. The uh, periphery of the closet. Yeah. Uh, I did take your idea, though. I have a closet in here. And I oh, took, yeah. out, took the doors off and everything. So it's just an open space. I just got to do something with it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Throw some shelves in there, just some shelves and brackets. Definitely. Uh, work pretty well. I want to rig up some kind of lighting on this other shelf because this side of the room is a little darker. I mean, even though light there shines in this direction, it's still a little dark over here. And of course, you thought about doing maybe like, because you have the shelving on that side, maybe like a track light across the top? About that yeah yeah because the mando figures it's like a lot of browns yeah mm -hmm. so they get lost um empire is very colorful jedi is kind of colorful but mando it's a lot of just neutral tones so i don't know they're kind of hard we'll to see mix all the andor figures in with them and they'll be even more brown that's right <laughs> <laughs> a lot of browns that's yeah. true that's true yeah, all right, guys. Cool well, figures though, they're great characters. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Forward to those. Yeah, I'll be I'll be really interested to see. Maybe that's the, maybe we should check in the, uh, the next time, uh, like in a I don't know when the show ends. We'll see how you know where it goes and what we thought about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm loving it so far. Yeah. All right. Mm. Well. All right, guys. Well, let's sign off. It's great chatting with you guys. Well, thanks. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. The chat. Thank you guys for joining us, everyone that's in here. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. All right. Have a great weekend, guys. See ya. Bye, guys. Bye.